Just notice they said the 18th. Well, yeah, that's when it comes out, dude. I mean, if you if you want a refund, I'm I'm sure that uh, certain people would be more than happy to to scoop those up if you don't want to wait till the 18th. Mind you, if you do change your mind, it might be break 116 when we get there. Just printing everything for tonight, and we will be good to go. To those of you celebrating a little Valentine's Day this weekend, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. One filled with romance. You say night as if it's just going to all be done in one night. Anything we can get our hands on, dude. We're just doing 10 breaks tonight. Grading spots? Who just subbed? Burnsy. Thank you. Well, yeah, we start at... We start the stream at 11.30. We don't open packs until midnight. So, like, keep that in mind. Even if you get in a later break, it's probably going to line up at a decent time. <laughs> Did I just run out of paper? Are you kidding me right now? Dilby, thank you very, very much. Pokemon Gamer, it's funny you should say that. Caught something on stream, on clip. It's very specific to be asking that, though. It's in our Discord. If you're watching on phone, it's kind of hard to see. It's easier to like watch on a bigger screen. I have to reset the light app. I don't get scared, Big Big. If anything, it was like, it was more interesting than anything. All right, I need more paper. Hold up.
I just read a message in my printer. It said improper shutdown. It did not like the fact that I unplugged it and replugged it back in. To prevent further damage, just don't just use the power button. It said. I think I think low key my printer just threatened me. To prevent further damage to who? Clyde, I have, I don't really pay attention to other channels because I have very limited time as it is just to be worrying about myself <laughs> and I don't need to get content and ideas because everything is original here, but I have been told that there's been some concerns that people have seen. Like, believe me, to a certain extent, I believe, you know, there is lurking. There is people that watch and don't say anything, but it's only to a certain extent, you know. That's all I'll say. For sure. I mean, dude, if you were here for Vivid Voltage, we did, like, over 100 breaks easily. You heard fire is a bad spot. Who doesn't want to say anything? I will say that, like... Um... I feel like even with more people, it's like, st even if there's still just like 20 people talking, like it should be a lot of people. I, I can understand it like four in the morning, but like the view count goes down anyway to reflect it. Um, Kappa Mikey, I would say that everything is pretty much the same. Certain things we adjusted, but not by a lot. That's what I'm saying, Clyde. Like, One, it like it's concerning to me that like they're willing to risk the their channel being banned. And two, like if they actually feel good about the view count being high, knowing that they paid for it, if that's the case. It's like both both questions, not really pretty answers there. <laughs> but I don't care about it. It is what it is. Just report it and move on. It's going good, Flyers. I mean, Mikey, what I'll say is that the amount of money that you would spend just buying packs for yourself, comparatively to the same amount of money you'd spend here, probably like 10 times out of 10, you're going to get more. And the potential is higher. I mean, we're going to post more. Brief cheers. Love all of you guys. We're going to have a good time tonight. You're all beautiful. 
Pokemon Open is right, dude. I'm just going to finish this. It's nice and cold. I don't know why, but, like, I'm sure there's a scientific explanation to this. I had a case of water. Only certain ones were frozen. Other ones were, like, completely fine. So Nighthawk, on releases, we tend to keep all the breaks the same. For sake of efficiency. If I'm doing the same thing over and over again, and I have it ready in advance, we can get the most breaks done in the shortest amount of time. No, not Fiji water. Okay, let's put on some music. No, they didn't do booster boxes. Now you can use your gift cards. I have more gift cards too. I will give them out who, to who I owe them to periodically. Just remind me. Keep in mind, guys, like even if you get in a break 45 um, or beyond, like every break is 36 packs. That means every break is going to take me approximately like five to six minutes. After release, that's when we switch stuff up. I'll have the breaks ready in advance too. So it's like, we'll be good to go. First hit, colorless. Matt, there you go. Okay, the phone's gonna keep vibrating, so I need to put this like, not in a place where we can hear it on camera every two seconds. It just needs more time with me, absolutely. Yeah, there is no trading on release nights. That was that's been a rule for years. Trading adds way too much time. Yo, Casper, I got uh the shield off of is it Saffron or Kelthazad? Like the it's like the wall of death or whatever. I think it looks sick. No, they don't do booster boxes for it. It's it's a set like Hidden Fates and Champions Path. The holiday sets is like ETBs, pin boxes, etc. Oh, it's not a full week. Dude, with all of the tier three pieces on, Hunger and Cold and the Shield, like swag. It sucks like I don't have this stuff on my main account for like T Mog. I wish it linked up that way.
Yeah, we we we're gonna straighten some things out while I have a week to do it. I can tell you that. Cause now I ain't gotta worry about if I'm not gonna be live until next Thursday. I'm gonna yell at some people. Yeah, I'll stream raid. I love the, the fact that people are so degenerate about these McDonald's packs that someone figured out that you could hold a flashlight up to it. Look at the great ability of both. Nine on the centering. Between eight and nine. This is... Solid nine. I'd give you a ten. Absolutely, dude. So Dark Shuya, I don't allow name dropping of anyone who is not on the stream team for personal reasons, but um, basically how our breaks work is you get a spot, which in turn gets you a type. Spot equals type. You get one type randomly assigned to you. You get every single card that is not bulk of your type. So anything that is hollow or greater. Reverse hollow or greater. Any hollow on the card whatsoever or greater you get of your type. Bulk is evenly distributed and randomly distributed between everybody. count going up well that's we only that's 60 hyper gold or v max or shiny the only ones that we that aren't that that we count are from evo which is no longer in breaks regular as yet no problem at all if you got any questions at all dark shuya let me know This box, dude. Hyper and a gold. That's fighting right there. Dylan. I'm doing fantastic, dude. Dude. Between... But it's probably a solid 9, but you might get a 10. Who knows? What's up, Shrike?
I'm excited to get to Sun and Moon base in this stack. Bought Sea of Thieves today, hoping to get Strike. What I'll say to you is, is first off, you're going to love it. What you're not going to love is when one person who has been playing the game since release and is only looking to like board other people's ships, you are 1000% going to get messed with. But embrace it, it's a learning experience. That game rewards those who are aware. <laughs> and that means checking your surroundings regularly. <laughs> like you live in the city. We still got more, dude. We got a Mew in it. Now we got an Eternatus VMAX. Last Burning Zard was probably last year. I don't think we pulled one yet this year. Mind you, we only time you see burning is during feasts. I mean, it wasn't like early last year or middle. Like, it was late last year we got it. It was probably like November. Can I pull you one tonight? I'll try it, dude. I'll open a giveaway up too. Sorry, I forgot to. Do or do not, there is no try. Hey, I, I respect that. You either do it right or you don't do it at all. But like in this case, my effort is like believing hard. I'll just believe really, really hard. No, it's the same playlist. I'm just starting it from a different point. Valerian Stunfisk. Some Patchkeys. Some unified. Oh, my gosh. I love this card. I mean, that's a Gen 1 like reference. The card was so distinct, too, that like seeing it for the first time in Japanese, I knew what it was, not even being able to read it in Japanese. Probably a solid nine. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, dude, I didn't even add how many packs we opened last stream to the counter. I guess I'll just do it all at once. I'll do Wednesday and Friday all together. Between 8 and 9 with the centering. Everything else looks immaculate on the card.
these next three stacks are just going to be me missing opening them. Celestial, Sun and Moon, Crimson. Pull a Hyper Gyarados to the haters. Last half of this break is going to be oof, heavy. Dude, I miss opening Sun and Moon Base. It was like the first release that I got to experience as the factory. A steel energy for you? Absolutely. As long as you're stealing this break. Sounds good, Steve French. Beautiful. Will do, will do. And look at that. Ask it. Right after you confirm it, too. I love it. You guys, like, broke that notification straight up. <laughs> I'm still getting notifications for the first break. How backed up this thing is. Because I have it, like, set to, like, show, like, transactions by 10, I think. Every so often. Because, Chaz, it's, it's not enough. Like, there's not enough out there. It's not as uh, abundant as it once was. First time in Feast, you got a strong spot, like every spot in the Feast. We'll have Sun and Moon base for the feast feasts for a little while. I mean, burning is in the feast. Right now, this is Unified Minds. Next one is Celestial. Let's see that Hyper Requaza, dude. It's been a while. Not easy to pull, either. Well, there's no, like, regular art trainer. The reason why trainer is held maybe a little bit in a higher regard is like the lowest hit that you can get is a full art so it's like when it does hit it hits hard Got it. I mean, make no mistake, every spot is good. But, like, the reason why Trainer is, like, a little bit, like, has a little bit of an edge is that the lowest possible hit is a full art.
Well, yeah. The potential is a little bit different in that regard. I mean, you have two spots. You have two types over somebody else. Dark and Dragon each by themselves is okay enough, but both of them together is... Everything is deliberate. I mean, that's why we did that. Open a booster box giveaway because I forgot to do it. No problem, Chaz. You've been around for a while and feels good to pull them Zards. All good, dude. All good. I mean, the 1300 pack break, dude. I can't imagine getting that in the mail. That's got to be like the best feeling ever. Not even watching it, like, you just know that you have a bunch of hits coming your way. A great feeling. One more, yeah. Garchomp Giratina, Dragon. It's like Christmas every week. I was talking about that earlier, dude. Comfy, clean art. Beautiful, dude. Executor. All right, Celestial. What's up, Skywalker? Which set? Unified? Dude, a lot of... I mean, like, it's not even that old of a set. It was just taken for granted. My patience is going to get tested.
Unfortunately, this is the largest gap of time in which I could switch internet, like, if I called tomorrow. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm done. That's it. I, I, I've, I've said it before, but, like, now, like, I'm not even going to call to troubleshoot. I'm just going to call to cancel once the other one is confirmed. Caesar steel. I'm done playing these games. Between nine and a ten, maybe more on the nine side, just with the top being a little bit rough. But my lord, dude, gorgeous. Yeah, it'll be fiber. That's what I'm switching for, and different companies. Everything will be taken care of, Chaz. Don't you worry, my guy. Let me worry about all the boring stuff. But yeah, somebody asked earlier if there's no booster box. It 1,000% means that I have to open tins. I have to open ETBs. I have to open pin boxes. Yes. Whatever your concern is, it, yes, that's my answer. <laughs> that's if we're selling them. Wow. What if I just want them all, dude? Larias. Logical? I mean, I'm not going to talk about the business of things, dude, but. Yeah, it's per spot. I appreciate you being, you know, not rude about it, though. Gotta write a paper. What's your paper on? Writing papers were always interesting. Was always interesting for college. I didn't really dread it. Like, writing comes easy for me anyway. A good looking, f geez, you're gonna make me blush on camera, dude. Ah, a little bit of psychology or business psychology.
What's the psychology of people that buy aimware? Is that like a person that's truly, truly just broken? Or any other game cheats? Almost hit myself in the face. It will be in the future. Beesh, does that mean Champion's Path, Hidden Fates, and Shiny Fates are going to be in the same break? Yes. That's what exactly what it means. And yes, I'm just as excited. Couldn't tell you any stats on that. Oh, if you ever need a research topic, there you go. The fact that... No, I remember that, dude. As soon as... I kind of feel bad for Fall Guys. Fall Guys, I... The first couple times I played it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then, like, other games just overlapped it for me. I didn't play it enough. I probably could still refund it based on my, my played... Slash played. Which kind of bums me out, because I got like a cool Triceratops costume. If I would have played that game, they would have got me on every microtransaction. For visual. <laughs> Just for skins. Maybe it's a blessing I didn't play it. I'm a sucker for those. But nuts. I gotta finish leveling up my battle pass and see if beige. I think I got to like level like 80 something. Playing it degenerately. Dude, it was outshined by Among Us. That's got to be, like, the biggest full circle smack in the face. Like, while it wasn't, like, groundbreaking visually, like, still, a lot more development and money went into the development of Fall Guys just to get beat by a game that's, like, eight years old. That's, that's embarrassing. That's got to feel bad. I mean, if anything, it shows concept over... You know, all the bells and whistles, visuals. You're playing... Dude, I want to get those glowing eyes for level 100. Especially for it being season 1. If you have season 1 stuff, that like makes your account valuable. Not that I would sell it, but just the flex. Because that's the only way you'd be able to get it. There's certain items like that in WoW, too, that, like, aren't supposed to be in the game anymore. You start later. See, starting later, I'm envious that you're going to experience everything, and it's going to be polished, and it's going to be beautiful, and there's so much stuff. But at the same time, if you played when the first when the game first came out to now, you appreciate it a little bit more, too. Hold on, I need water. All the mage tower appearances are gone. Pops, it's starting to it's starting to feel like it's the end of of classic, finally. 
I think I think I'm gonna make it all the way through finally. For me, no shotgun, I feel like there's always too many. <laughs> I feel like if you go to a skeleton fort on any server, that's where you find every player. If you have a problem finding players, just go to a, a, an active skeleton fort. Because everyone is camping it at once. Or one of those like fire tornadoes. It feels insane that we're right next to the Atiash. Makes me makes me happy for Quandar. He's been he's he's been there forever. He does a lot of a lot of work. If there's an active fort on the server and I'm playing solo, I feel safe because I know where everybody is. Met him a few times. I mean, he's really knowledgeable about the game. That's like one thing about this is like everybody has been more knowledgeable than me for WoW Classic, rightfully so, because I never played it. And it's made a lot more enjoyable. I see something right here, dude, and it looks crazy. Yo. I have not seen this Tauros in so long, and it looks immaculate. Colorless, congrats. That looks amazing. So long since I've been, seen this Tauros. It looks 10 worthy, dude. Between a 9 and a 10. Even where it's like rough on the top left. I, I don't think it's enough to like bring it down. It's beautiful. I'd say definitely a grading prospect to be completely sure. If you just started playing it too, Summit 1G ruined that game. And I love that dude, but everyone plays like him now. Where everyone's looking to just make plays and stealing loot. Nobody actually does the stuff to like get the loot. Legit, if you think I'm wrong, go to a skeleton fort and just sit there. Watch how many three and four man ships don't do it and wait for someone else to do it. That's a problem. If I have four people, I'm doing that because I know that we can't be overpowered. Someone got you into playing. And make no mistake, his content is hilarious. The stuff that he does. The fact that he can hide on a ship for like an hour and just steal all the loot off of their boat with a rowboat is hilarious. But it is the most degenerate way to play that game. <laughs> Toxic way, I guess. I still have to finish all the Tall Tales, too. I got a lot of them done, though. I think I got like Six of them done? I think I just have to do the one you pick up from Davy Jones. That Espeon. 
I did Flame Heart already because that was the newest one that came out. Players were better than last time he played. Well, dude, he's the reason for that, too. There are certain things that I do in that game because of what I've seen done. <laughs> what I've seen him do. See, when I solo play, I'm slightly tempted to go f to to get a three man ship. You get more cannons, your ship's faster. But at the same time, it's a little bit harder to control. It makes it so you, you have no, like, downtime. They need to fix Athenes, though. Emissary. Because it takes way too long to get to Emissary 5. Very, very hard to grind alone. Which, rightfully so. It's endgame stuff. It should be hard, but... If if you can only play, like feasibly play for an hour, you're not going to hit grade 5 emissary with Athena's. What's your favorite thing to do in no shotgun in the game? Like, do you like the PvP? Do you like going for chests? Going for skellies? Gorgeous full art. Dude, I forgot about all these gorgeous hits that were in this. It's so funny that, like, I remember opening it, and it people, like, did not appreciate it as much as we do now. Well, the game is a little bit of everything. That's why I love it. Centering is, like, a little bit awkward on the top right. It's almost, like, squared off on the left and then more rounded on the right. I still think it could get a 9, though. Between 8 and a 9. I watched a video where somebody made like a prototype six man ship and it looks so freaking cool, but I don't know if they're going to add it into the game. It's just too broken. There's like 12 cannons. <laughs> and like a bridge with like an upper and lower part of the ship. There's always something you could do for any player's interest. I mean, that's the thing. I would say that if you're not comfortable with player versus player, and there are people out there that actively avoid player versus player games, it might not be the game for you. Hey, Della, thanks for that sub. Appreciate you. We're mitigating drama in the server. Wait, what? My day's going good, Kid Supreme. Are you talking about Sea of Thieves? Like, there, there are people that literally just want to PvP, and I get it. I love it. PvP is awesome. But they will literally keep hopping servers until they see, like, an active fort or, like... A flag on the map. I had that the other day. I did have someone like... I got outnumbered one time solo playing. And I didn't have any loot on the boat. So like I didn't really care. But I was sitting there. I was like, you guys are giving a lot of effort right now. When there's an active fort. 
and I have zero loot. And they were just like sitting on my ship, and I'm just like, okay. I'm like, I'll just sit here then. I respawned, got on there, started breaking stuff. I've been known to run down a galleon or two. No fear. You can't have the loot fear. Especially if there's no loot on the boat. It's war. That's why it was so rewarding to kill like someone in DayZ, because you know that they ran like two hours to get like really good gear. If you died in that game, you start from scratch and it's devastating. You might be done playing for the week. <laughs> It's Sea of Thieves? That's hilarious. One thing I didn't like was the the one mode where it's like uh it's just like ships pvping it's like a different game mode altogether i like pvp when it's like open world and like you don't know what to expect when you when it's just ship versus ship and that's like the game i think people play too much differently when you when you don't have uh when you don't have loot to lose I think people play a little bit more reckless. That's a gorgeous Guzzlord, by the way. Between 9 and a 10, just because the top edge is dark. I mean, it's less satisfying to win that than to like be open world and catch someone hypothetically with their pants down when they start like loading up their boat and you just roll up on them. One dude, <laughs> one dude we caught at an outpost, a, a two-man ship, and it was me and Eric, so it was two-man ship versus two-man ship. I fired myself onto the island. Man, I forgot about a low and golem. I fired myself on the island. Eric's just raining cannonballs onto their ship. I'm killing them before they can repair, and I'm watching this guy panic, like, trying to, like, hide his loot at like the bottom of the ocean but if you put loot down in the water it floats to the top <laughs> it's good for practice if you're just starting out yeah it's just less enjoyable cartana more steel You could tell when it's a new player too. Like I almost feel bad if it's like a new player that's like really not fighting back or effectively fighting back. I kind of just like I'm just like ah. Eh. It doesn't feel as satisfying. A tryhard getting taken out always satisfying. Now does that mean that I'm I show mercy? To the to the new player, no, I sync them all the same. <laughs> Yo, I don't. He was dead before he even saw it. Probably a nine. Gorgeous hyper. But one thing I will say is, like, they need to maybe figure out a way to provide some sort of outplay 
for people looking to do forts because everyone just camps them. And if you're the one doing the fort, you're always at a disadvantage. What set was this? Crimson, dude. The one, the one set that everyone shows hate for. You see these cards that I'm pulling right now? Shame on you if you hate this set. I didn't even pull a Gyarados yet. Funniest thing I've ever seen in a video, though, for Sea of Thieves recently was somebody, like, in their tips and tricks video said, raise the Reaper's flag. Everyone in this game is a non-family friendly word, and they're going to avoid you like the plague. They will avoid PvP. <laughs> uh, this weekend, I believe Saturday is... Saturday is Valentine's Day, but Sunday is a different story, so perhaps Sunday. And I've had it before, dude. We're like, it's like a two man ship, and we're on the two man, and like they have every advantage, and they just keep running. And it's like, people do avoid PvP. Sunday's Valentine's? I thought Saturday was Valentine's, though. What? Ah, I guess you're right. Perhaps Saturday, then. Had a schedule, then, yeah. Acting like I haven't streamed Sea of Beige, wow. biggest thing that I've learned recently is like you chain shots are the first thing that you should be firing off of your ship cannonballs like don't do anything if you take someone's mast out the level of panic that ensues following that is exactly what you need so they get behind and they can't recover because once I get on the ship it's over They're almost like too broken. It's an easy way to overwhelm because they got to do two things. They got to re-raise it and then they got to repair it. It gives you motion sickness. By the way, colorless. Gorgeous. This box was busted. Between eight and nine on the grading, but still busted. Is that like, that, I feel like that could be a setting that you could fix, like V-Sync or something. Or, I mean, I mean, if the animation itself, it, it is a different style of animation. I like it, though. Is that game big in, like, China? Because I remember they had to change certain bosses because culturally, like, skeletons were, like, really, really, like, bad. I remember this being a thing for World of Warcraft. Like, they had to change bosses. High frame rates. Gotcha. I have no idea what that is.
The reason I ask is like that game is basically all skeleton bosses. I know for WoW they had to like literally change certain bosses to like humanoid visually. Well, I'm sorry if you get nauseous and you don't, obviously you don't have to watch me, Steve French. Yeah, you could lurk and listen. That's, that's also true. Maybe turn the resolution down or up. This is Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield, Burning is the next three. I did not do uh, Hidden Fates or Champion's Path yet either. Uh, to your question, is there any more breaks available on the website? Not for tonight. We have releases posted. Let me see if there's spots available. I think everything might be sold out. No, there's still there's still breaks available, I think. Maybe. Yeah, there's more breaks on the website. If you keep a small box on Twitch, it's really weird. You've been trying to figure out for years. It's a really rare disease called... Isn't that like a... That, isn't that like part of your ear, like inner ear? Because I remember a girl in like high school had that, and she basically like could not function. I felt really, really bad. She like, it, it feels like you're constantly getting vertigo almost. I know it. That is legit so random. I... I know way too much information that I will all like more than likely not use. Definitely a good person to call if you're ever on like who wants to be a millionaire for like a random like question, not even Pokemon related. <laughs> I've watched way too many documentaries. <laughs> Like I said, you always have the option. If I get a hold of a pack, if this gives you any point of reference, if I get a, a McDonald's pack, I'm just going to get one and get it rated. Less sodium. Well, it's rare, so people would not be that familiar with it. Unless, like, you been around somebody who had it. No more tendies in Mountain Dew. I 
If they're no, I have zero clue. I've done zero homework on the McDonald's promo. My interest level on it is severely low. Shiny Fates has my attention more than that. Stick it to the man, Osis. What is that from? Is that School of Rock? Cinderace. Full art. Fire. Oh yes, Chaz. But beyond the Zard, there's still a beautiful amount of hits. There could have been more that got removed because they got turned into promos, but <clears throat> we're not going to have that conversation right now. It's a good evening, but it'll still be a really, really fun set. Well, think about who's handling him, dude. Even when stuff is still inside of a case, if someone drops a case or throws it, like it's going to ding up the corner. Chunky Chew. The Chonkers. Thank you for the follow. Steve French. Which one, Chaz? Because I didn't close this one yet. I think Chad knows that you're being sarcastic and wouldn't take that to heart. Ain't that right, Chad? No, I just started it. bunch of uh, Toys R Us promos created that are like that much more cool because it's like I think the last one was the Vulpix probably Ice Marrow dude did anyone miss you? you're always missed my guy how you doing? how's your 2021 going? hey he comes in here gifting my God. Yeah, yours I sent right away. I had like one left. I owe like a couple people gift cards. I hope everything's going well. Good to see you. You know you had to come check out the Shining Fates release. Oh, it's going to be. I mean, there's already over 50 breaks full, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Um... On Vivid Voltage release, I think it was 100 breaks. Over, it was well, well over 100. So like, already on pace to like set a record stream. 
might be breaking that stream record early this year. The thing is, is like, if we can keep the format at 36 packs, like, we could easily get to 200 breaks. That's the, the reality of things. Couple tens, dude? My guy. Love to see it. Always a great thing. Currently, Ice Marrow, it's only cards that I open and I'm still in possession of. Chunky Chew. Subbed for six months. My gosh. Thank you very, very much. Jeez. It could change in the future, Ice Marrow, but for now, we're keeping it simple. Thank you for subbing for six months ahead of time. Big fan? I'm a big fan of you, dude. Thank you. You did not have to do that. So, fun fact, Ice Marrow, that I didn't even know until recently or realize, I guess. I knew it, but didn't realize it. Black labels will always be 0.5 off. Dude, make sure you post that. Tag your boy. I want to see that. I didn't even know it was an option. A lot of those options show up on PC and not on phone. What do I mean? A BGS 10 will always be 0.5 off of a black label. Always. I didn't, like, I knew that, but didn't put it all together. So thanks for that. I'll, I'll give credit to Pua. Dude, I'll tell you what, though. It's still a 10. BGS 10s are not easy. Black labels are a whole nother level. Happy to have pulled that for you, dude. I saw you too. How are you doing? How's your 2021 going? Indeedy. Play the new Mario. What new Mario game is out? I haven't even been paying attention, dude. Didn't they remake Super Mario Sunshine recently, too? Or did they announce it? I forgot what they did. Like, just the same game, but updated graphics. 
It's amazing. Gorgeous hyper trainer. Centering on the front looks a lot less than the back, and it's confusing me a little bit. I'll say around a nine. Maybe more towards an eight, but around a nine. See, I didn't like Galaxy that much. To be fair, I did not have a Wii at that point, and like I briefly played it at like like a cousin's house. I just didn't like the style of it. Colorless. Super Mario All Stars. All I, all I know is is. OG Super Mario Strikers is where you settle the beefs. Yeah, Chaz, you, if I pull a card for you in a break and you want that card graded, you check out on the website, tell me what break it is, what card you want graded, and we hold it, and then we're going to be doing... Next submission is the... Uh, March 1st so a lot of uh, shiny fates I presume will be in this submission that's awesome dude congrats throw some bows I just didn't enjoy it as much oh it's not it, we're not opening Shining Fates right now that's not till next week dude the breaks on the website are for why do we even put it in the title dude nobody ever reads the date <laughs> and it's not even only you Ice Marrow. The amount of times I've got an email saying like, hey, is this being open tonight? And we're like, the, the date's in the title. Well, we just have that stock there because we have to have it there. It kind of like helps us gauge in the moment how many cards have been graded. We could always add more. Like, there's not a limit. That's the way I started Chunky Chew. I used to go live on my phone when I got off of my 9 to 5. So there wasn't like a face cam or anything. Interesting, the way that the humble beginnings. For a certain amount of time, dude, I was using like my like really, really nice DSLR camera. That that setup was so janky because it like the resolution wasn't even good because you had to capture the screen in which the camera was being projected on the computer. No, you're good, Ice Mero. No, you're good, Ice. I've just it, it wasn't to your comment specifically. It's been happening for, like, weeks now. <laughs> I guess, it, I mean, rightfully so. Like, people who have been around for a while are expecting stuff on the website to be available while I'm live. Hasn't been the case for a little bit. <laughs> a lot of people do. It's more for replay. It's just I use every other platform as a as a bridge to get over here because this is the place to be. And then I did not realize that it was an issue until it happened, which was a big problem that the camera would die when it's being continuously used for 4 hours. So then I had to, like, get an adapter, which allowed it to be plugged in the entire time. Oh, my God, dude. That was such a nightmare.
tell you what, I have a bunch of unnecessary attachments for for a camera now. But what's nice is, is like for that camera that I got, um, it's Canon. So if you buy a lens and it's like 10 years old, it still fits on the camera, which is really, really cool. It's like a T5i Rebel or whatever. You hate that you got, why? It's beautiful and there's an abundance of them. All right, burning shadows. Mind you, we still have Burning Shadows, Unbroken, Vivid, Champion's Path, Hidden Fates, and then Japanese Packs. And we already have this many hits. varies on your luck you get trainer in a break like this you're gonna knock out a lot of them <laughs> um out of all the zards yeah i would say so still not harder than hyper pikachu though which is saying something random kid nate thank you for your follow i appreciate you how long have I been on Twitch? So Twitch was there, but I wasn't really using it. I started focusing on Twitch probably like two years ago. We hit partner though in like three months, which is pretty crazy. very thankful for that because it is not easy to hit that but we get one tonight i mean every time we don't see it is another time where we should be seeing it hyper fighting while hunting mr rainbow yikes on the centering and the edges Probably like a six or a seven on the grading, just so you're aware. Does not appear to be the cleanest batch of burning here for this box. Might be a blessing that you don't get the hyper because you'd be severely disappointed if it was not well-centered. Guard of War. You could make the argument, though, that a Zard is a Zard, though. Are you saying, like, are you asking me what my favorites were? I mean, Burning, not because of the Zard, okay? Like, obviously I love the Zard, but Burning is my favorite because that was the first time that stuff truly, truly got crazy where we were ripping, like, you know, 12 cases. It was so much fun. Guardians was like that to an extent because everyone wanted Tapu Lele because it was the most playable card ever. The pull rates aren't great either, no, no shotgun. 
I've had some very unforgiving boxes of burning. But it just adds to the the value of how hard it is to get, you know, a PSA 10 or even like a black label. Jeez, dude. Top edge is like probably like a PSA 6. That's assuming that we're going to hold their tweet that they've tweeted multiple times before as valid. That's assuming that they even make more and they're not just releasing what they already have. It's still being bashed, dude. I wouldn't even call it popular right now. Nine times out of ten, I mention Crimson Invasion. They say, oh, I hate that set. Nine times out of ten. Al, you, I don't think you've been here, but I've had this conversation like a hundred thousand times, and every time it's more toxic than the last. Thank you for not being one of those times. Hopefully in a week, because I'm not going to be live until Thursday on this stream. It'll just be next next topic. And we'll move on and realize that I was, you know, Beach, Beach knows what he's talking about. Not necessarily. Look at, look at. Look at PlayStation. Look at anything else. Can you at least see that? Can you see that comment at least? Which one? Uh, oh, yeah, I could see it. No, you, you weren't being toxic. I, I, I thank you for not. I think you have a, a better uh, understanding of Pokemon and, you know, less disappointment when you realize that they don't make more ever. Shut up, Street Tuner. Well, people come in here, like, knowing what I'm going to say and they, like, want the conversation to happen. Toxic player, toxic player. I can't even be mad at you, Street Tuner, because you gave me WoW Classic Gold. You could do no wrong in my heart. You gave me a lot of WoW Classic Gold. It lasted me one week. <laughs> and the ironic part is, all the farming and all the time I spent farming gold to buy Edgemaster's handguards, it was like 5,000 gold. I think I paid 3,500, though. Negotiation. But... I didn't need it because I ended up getting hungry and cold, which gives you plus five to swords. And then I equipped Edge Masters already, so I couldn't sell them. <laughs> so those of you who have zero clue what I'm talking about, just know that I. Uh, the basic is, is that I wasted a lot of time farming for an item that I didn't end up needing. I mean, better to have them than not to have them, but in my case, it is, it is a very, very much waste. <laughs> Yeah, the cold has been very, very much, like, brutal. Like I said, though, winter does not start till February. We know this already. 
you don't have salt trucks. You would think there would be an abundance of salt too with a, this whole McDonald's promo fiasco. Just go to Facebook, they got plenty of salt there. Any Facebook Pokemon group right now, abundance of salt. You could harvest it, crystallized. I saw that video, someone linked that, and I was like, oh my god. It's, like, it's crazy to think that, like, ice being that unfamiliar to people, like, they just don't know how to handle it. No, that wasn't me accusing you, Al. I said, thank you for being one of the good ones. It was me pointing out the obvious. Just a bunch of Neanderthals harvesting salt. Oh man. When Chris said Neanderthal last stream, I about, I almost died. If you missed that. The timing of it was impeccable. Where, like, I didn't even know that the word was Neanderthal at that time. Because I was just burnt out. And I, <laughs> I was trying to read it. And then I finally put it together and I realized what you said. Oh, you think, Brownie? Who would, know, who would think that, like, Facebook just breeds on toxicity? But you already knew that. Yes, I did give you guys Zard Bucks for for almost killing me, Chris. All right, I'm broken. Listen, if someone like you comes in here and starts acting toxic, then we're in trouble because I've never had a toxic moment with you. I told you to go back to Facebook. I respect no shotgun. I had a negative interaction with him last stream and he typed me a message out apologizing. That never happens. So thank you for that. to give credit where credit is due. I will give Zard Bucks for that because oh, I probably just gave you like 400,000 points there instead, but whatever. That never happens. The amount of times I've had that interaction, I just never see that person again. Millions of times. When pigs fly. Don't wish that on us in 2021, dude. Pigs, pigs are probably not too happy with us with all the bacon that we've eaten and stuff. Dude, look how fat that top is. Tick on the top. Very tick. Probably a PSA 8 because of that. Everything else is immaculate. No problem at all, shot, show, shotgun. Sorry, I said your name wrong like three different times in that one sentence. Well, it it really is like just a platform of it. It's like a toxic game. Like think about certain communities, like League of Legends and stuff. It's literally like without the game just pure toxicity and i don't know why it's like that it's just the people that are on there because i re like i remember the first time i had facebook was like grade school 
and that's like where a lot of like the times that I've got the couple few times as a troubled youth I got into fights was literally because of Facebook. It's just the root of all evil. Pretty much, I mean. Facebook in like its early days too was even worse. Cause like it was harder to like, it was harder to like block people. People could literally just cyber stalk you. It, it, honestly, Steve French, it, it's not harsh. Because there are people out there, like, you know, obviously freedom of speech, but holy crap, dude. There, there are certain people that, like, it should be a crime, the, the things that I've read. I could tell you what didn't start fights, besides the top eight. MySpace was a peaceful time. MySpace was dope. Bring back MySpace. See, the problem with AIM was if you ever logged on to someone else's computer and didn't log off, you're done. Someone has full access to your account and like that feature where it's like log it, log it out of other places, even if you change the password, it just stays logged in. And there were certain people that if you stayed logged in, they were the worst person that you could have did it at. Dude, that's how you know people were beefing. You're like, oh man, did you see that? He's off of the top friends. Keith Bomax Jack. All of you, thank you for the follows. I wonder how many people still have not realized that Shiny Fates breaks are on the website right now. This is just the people who show up to stream. <laughs> And that's a good thing, Burnsy. Cheating ain't cool. That is against my morals. I hate that. I mean, worst comes to worst, like you'll you could plan to buy into a break for the next day like when you get off of work or when you wake up otherwise you know obviously you could always watch the replay panic went to the set woke up in like a cold sweat you're like oh god no I hope this is gradable because this is a gorgeous psychic card it is. Dude, that's 10 worthy. All day. Between 9 and a 10, but definitely worthy of a 10. That's a Gen 1 Pokemon right there, too. In terms of longevity, that's a good card. Immediately woke.
that's another thing too. Like even though it says break t- seventy five, these breaks are thirty six packs. That is, you, you guys have seen me open thirty six packs before. It's pretty quick. That's one, and then two is like you can plan for it being like the next day. Burnsy, you can do that. Just put down. So we'll handle that stuff on a case by case basis, but I've had people say like, can you hold my stuff for a month? We're not doing that. Because one month turns into this person doesn't answer us anymore. And I've had somebody message me after like a full year and a half. Hey, do you still have my stuff? I'm like, I don't even know if you existed anymore, dude. What, what do you mean do I still have your stuff? Yeah, the binder giveaways will be done off camera and all that. No, yeah, I, believe me. It's a slippery slope, though, Bernsey. That's that's one thing that I've realized. You make one thing available, and people abuse it. <laughs> but just shoot us an email. Put down your new address, though. I've had people legitimately get upset that I don't stop and, like, go back eight breaks ago to, like, tell them what they got. I'm like, dude, please. Please don't do this to me today. <laughs> Just comes in here. I'm the most important person. You are all peons. All peasants. That's, like, the attitude you gotta have. To come in here and, like, immediately, like, request that your break gets tended to your one spot but beach exactly but beach but what last rainbow was mucking alone muck for psychic looks tenable as well it's gorgeous Full disclosure, L, anything you can get your hands on pretty much is what we do. We still have hidden fates for that reason. Gorgeous. Not the greatest centering though. Probably between probably around an eight. Grading wise. Still gorgeous card though. The jumbo packs. Logistically speaking, I Man, I, I would hate to be opening those. This setup wouldn't even work either. I'd have to like hold the card out here and I'd be like fully extending my arms every every stream. Zation. My desk would have to be like half a foot wider for me to like logistically be able to open those on camera. Between nine and a 10 on that, gorgeous. The Tauros was gorgeous. Cranking the feast out. I talked a lot today. It wasn't like the fastest feast opening, but still good. Yeah, so pretty much, Al, I, I responded earlier. I don't know if you heard it, but to your answer, like, he must have opened up a lot. Of, yes, I did. <laughs> and we will be. D 
disco disco Oh, far from it. I think tins were more annoying than ETBs just because we're only getting four packs out of them. The amount of mess that a tin, that like a mountain of tins makes is like absolutely mind-numbingly annoying. For those that were around for like Champion's Path and Hidden Fates. Champion's Path was the first holiday set I had here at this house, and I could not fit my car in the garage just from the amount of garbage for about a month. That's fun. Yeah, no problem. The most efficient way that I figured out like how to get rid of them was this is like right when COVID started. So I have a lot of cousins and aunts and uncles that have restaurants that they own and operate. Um, I, I, I would like regularly like two or three times a week fill up my car and just empty them in the dumpster. <laughs> until I could finally park my car in the garage again. The ETB boxes we keep because it's the best way to ship all the bulk from the feast. So it keeps us like and it's pretty cool to, to have like an empty ETB. They're really good for storage and whatnot. I'm sure people appreciate it. Smelt them into a sword. It'd be a pretty flimsy sword. Well, a lot of times too is, is like, you're pretty much getting, if you trade your bulk into Dariums regularly, like, it's already pretty much packaged. An unfortunate schmelting accident, dude. The Champion's Path Elite Trainer boxes are actually, like, beautiful. don't remind you how about do remind you because every day that you wait turns into like what grizz i'm pretty sure it's grizz who has the issue where like he literally has to ship like a pallet if you don't want to like divvy it up which let me know if you fig when you figure that out grizz because that's just an interesting logistics problem in itself Gross every week. He knows the exact number, I'm pretty sure. I think it's like 14,000 last time you told me. It could be more, though. I think Grizz took my advice in weighing instead of counting because weighing like a certain stack, knowing the exact weight that it's going to be every time, is a little bit quicker. And you can make even stacks and 
Multiply them out. Never mind, 30k. It was double what I thought, more than double. So that's 10 booster boxes. You gotta do a final. It looks pretty gradable, dude. Between nine and a 10, more on the nine side. Sounds good, Francis. Dariums, exclamation point bulk. They're part of the stream team. That's why we include bulk in our stuff, because it does have value. And if you get into a bunch of breaks, you accumulate a lot of bulk. Yeah, but I only recommend people on the stream team. It's only people I could trust wholeheartedly 1,000%. I'm not going to recommend someone who's going to scam you or short you, potentially. Or just fill our trainer. Um, graded card sleeves are the bags we specifically use. There's also different products that would fit, like team bags. They're really, really useful. For those of you that are new too, like all of your hollows and reverse hollows are automatically sleeved of your type. It's not done on camera because as much as I'd love to add an hour to each break, I, I, I don't think that it's the, the play and it, it it's not. <laughs> Dude, steel popping off. Another round of brakes being purchased. Yeah, but I feel like that's like a... It's like the, the equivalent of like... You know, fulfilling like no shirt, no shoes, no service. Like you have to, you know, at bare minimum start there. That's like our standard. I, I don't know how people don't. If there was someone right next to me, you would know. <laughs> it, it's done later at a, at a later time. Um, I haven't looked, so I don't know. We'll have a better idea once I'm randomizing for, for Thursday. I might go live like a day before just to randomize like the first 50 or something. I've never streamed Charlotte. No. And believe me, dude, like, we got our shipping down to a science. I've seen, I've gotten packages from people where I'm like, what the hell am I doing right now? I swear to you, dude, on eBay, 
I bought like a like an older Pokemon poster. I I think like they used like a scarf. Like like I as like padding. I'm like who who did I just buy this from? You 100% stole my process. You mean shipping like like a like a normal responsible human? I, no no thanks needed. <laughs> more out, more like I tell you. I mean, there's more of a defense for people that don't know how to, but then there's there needs to be an effort made. <laughs> well, if you buy from a sketchy person that has like five feedback versus a person that has a couple thousand reviews you 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 know what you're going to expect dude i i kid you not i think there was a person out like pretending to you know do breaks i say pretend because there's a proper way to do it and people just don't but i i swear to you dude parchment paper like a, like a bakery. Ha. Why? Yeah, this is break one. Not what's currently on the website, though. Kai. We have the release breaks up on the website. Parchment paper. I kid you not, dude. Parchment paper. Exactly. Like like you're at a bakery just like picking out pastries or something. I'm just like thank you for scratching up everybody's card now. To call that a meth it's a method of like, you know, maybe packaging some baking goods, not for cards. Cards. The reason why this is still break one is because this break is like 462 packs. We got Champion's Path right now, followed by Hidden Fates. The work of Neanderthals. I don't know why Neanderthal just pleases me as a word. I got to look up that, that, uh, the dictionary definition of that word. I think it's like an early like an earlier human like like Jurassic period or something I don't know well no there wasn't humans in Jurassic period but like you know what I mean usually a padded envelope is enough but there's going above and beyond, you know? No, like, I know what it, like, contextually means, but, like, it's it, it's just funnier once you look at the definition, I'm pretty sure. Well, I've done my part in hopefully deterring people from making mistakes. Because there are certain people that I've seen just improperly protect their cards. Putting the sleeve upside down and then putting the card the other way and into the into the top loader is probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Hold on, I gotta read the definition. An extinct species with a receding forehead. Oh my god. Prominent brow. So like just straight up just unda unda.
They're like, well, no dust gets in. Okay, put it in a car. Like, dust is not... If you're talking about, like, actual damage to your card, the dust is, like, the least of your worries when the card is going to be making contact with rough plastic. Straight caveman, dude. Straight unda unda. Nothing for tonight. We only did 10 breaks for tonight deliberately because we wanted to start filling breaks for next week. That's a new release, and that's going to be a set that's going to be very, very highly sought after and hard to find. So sorry about that, Kai. The reason for not a lot of breaks being available this week was we kept them short. We still did 20 breaks Monday and Wednesday. But, like, we needed to start preparing, and even with that preparation, we're not completely done yet. You just got to be careful, dude, because if people don't have feedback, they really don't have any sort of uh, reason to maintain or grow if they can just, you know, cash out and scam. That's what people fail to realize sometimes. Almost done with the first break. What I'll say to people is, is like, if it feels sketch, it probably is. You should always be careful, especially like if there is a not a lot of protection in terms of like being a buyer. Because it's just it's just as scary sometimes as a seller. Where them zards at? We still got time. There's been fire hits though. I say being severely overdue for a hidden fates shiny and looking at a, pa a stack of 36 is pretty favorable right now. Well, I mean, we kept it to 10 breaks for that reason because we have next week's release being posted. And it gets to the point where people are going to be waiting until the stuff is there. And it's well probably in advance for that reason. It's both ways, dude. It's never... The problem is, is like, there are, unfortunately, people that will do anything to prey and scam on people. Yeah, but they also... I... I no. I'm not going to say anything positive about a company that manipulates the market. So, Salmon, even though what you say might be true, I'm going to just move on. Company that determines the value of your cards regularly and is also buying and selling is not okay in my book. I don't like that.
Why would they do that, Al? After they buy a certain, you know, what if they buy just like 10,000 hyper Charizards? Thank you, Chris. What if, what if this company just bought, you know, 10,000 hyper Charizards and all of a sudden it's, you know, 100 times more in value? What? Who saw that coming? They don't punish you for shipping. Remind me not to buy any cars from you, Salmon. I love you. To be fair, though, I wouldn't be buying cars from anybody. Yeah, but I'd rather have tracking. I know that sometimes it's more than the card, but it's the only way to protect transactions between people. And I get it, like there's cards out there that are $2 or like 50 cents and it's not worth it. But in the same breath, it leaves way too much opportunity for people to scam. Do they really? That's really good. Pretty epic birthday. Dude, I forgot it was your birthday. Happy birthday to you. In that same breath, though, if you are selling a $5 Mew and the person never got it, quote unquote, it's even more of a headache. So there's definitely two sides to that. That's the biggest problem. So then you get dinged with a bad review, more than likely. The person who said they never got it, but in reality got it, is the one uh, definitely happy about that. I'm not giving, oh, they try Trunky. I mean, it, it just, it's a, it's a numbers game at that point where statistically speaking, a larger group of people, it's going to eventually happen. And it's the cost of doing business. But uh, Salmon, I'm not giving anyone ideas because that's been around for years. The scumbags are the scumbags for that reason. Hey, scamming thing for the follow. Be very, very careful posting pictures of what you're selling on Facebook as well. Cause I'm, I've been seeing a new scam where people just use other people's picture pictures and Photoshop. There's been literally people asking to take a picture with their name. Cause they were quote unquote interested in buying. If anybody asks you to do that, tell them nice try peace. No, 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 not that I'm saying pictures of stuff that you are selling. But if they never got it, and that's my point, if they never got it, even though if there's no tracking, there's really no defense for you. That's crazy. Thank you for those bits, by the way.
I mean, for me, the importance if I'm buying a card is condition. I want to buy something that's going to grade high, and I've when I was doing that was years ago, and every single person was just not really knowledgeable about the condition of their cards and not really knowledgeable about how to protect it. And I was disappointed like three or four times and then never again. eBay. I'm not going to spew out a name of a company that is the reason why, like, Facebook is so toxic and the player community is very toxic. Also, anyone from our Discord... We do have a buy sell trade section, which is not a place for you to open up shop. There's a difference between, you know, selling some extra cards you get versus, hey, this is my company that I have. And you, you, you'll get banned pretty quick from every community. Believe it or not, people are that smart. Psychic. I do not like Amazon, dude, because there is way too many fake listings on there and scams. Because people who were players back in the day, like, wanted... I mean, people in general want... A little bit of easiness to look up what a card is worth and then that became the regular but what they don't realize is is when that becomes the regular they have all the power especially when they're buying and selling in which people need to realize the information is skewed my lord dude between nine and a ten all day it's the environment is different, though. The people revolving around Pokemon cards are a lot more collectors than they are players. We probably outnumber them severely now. This is when they message me. Why did why did I get banned? And I'm like, why do you think you got banned? Well, let's if I even answer you. I don't like filters for that reason. There was one filter that someone linked me, and they're like. If you want to list a card on eBay, if they sell a, a, a card listing on eBay, they get a cut of the listing that they help sell. So it's like if someone didn't sign up through their website, why would they show any other listing for any other card? If you have any sort of bias like that, that's what makes these like easy searches a lot more biased than inaccurate. The website basically got commissioned for boosting people's listings. I'm surprised eBay just hasn't made, like, hasn't optimized their results because that's where they're pulling the information from is their site. Get it? Yeah.
Because believe you me, it is difficult to just search on eBay sold listings sometimes to find the exact card. It's a face-to-face -face rather than complete strangers. Wait, what? The problem is anybody who organizes that is going to want to benefit from that because it takes a lot of time and effort and it inevitably becomes something that is skewed or biased. I mean, there's plenty of like, aside from it being COVID, there is plenty of avenues to go and like sell stuff at like a convention or whatever. There's a lot of those shows in Texas, which honestly moving down there would be pretty sick. I'd just go to all of them because they're all driving distance. Zerua. I would avoid that like the plague, Al. When someone is selling on that, when there's eBay and other avenues to do that, I immediately like go to their account got banned because they were scamming. They're not scamming successfully on another platform. And it's not the case for everybody, but my God, like if you want to avoid disappointment, just a blanket assumption like that is probably a good move. Shalomara. Yeah, I've seen that you guys are getting some uh, so some snow. Onto something? What a platform that you shouldn't be selling Pokemon boxes or packs on or buying from? Yeah, that's that's what he was onto. Mind you, eBay is not perfect, and neither is, you know, other platforms, but if, if you were to line up chance of being scammed on each site with certain transactions, I feel like Mercari would be, and it is, significantly higher. Davvero. The whole family's watching, man. What's up, everybody? What's up, family? You guys enjoying this nice, beautiful weather we're having? We still have the same snow on the ground from like two weeks ago. It hasn't melted. Snow that it was on top of my garbage cans, perfectly just intact, hasn't melted. Probably a nine. Gorgeous gold. When it's this cold, like, I can't help but just to be, like, aggravated. It just doesn't make any sense. Salmon, the amount of people that don't know any better that think that everyone's just an upstanding and not a lying person. The amount of new people that have gotten scammed has probably been an, it's been an absolute field day for people who scam. So if you came in here first and I warned you, hopefully I deterred that from happening because I love it when the scammers lose. It makes me so happy. Yeah, but Al, if I'm going to recommend stuff for people, I can't recommend something sketch because then that recommendation gets tied to me. Next snowstorm. Please, God, no, because we still haven't melted from the first one two weeks ago. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, the snow that has been here has not melted. 
We haven't had like a spell of warm to like get rid of it. That's a problem. Like I said, Al, I, I can't recommend something based on this one isolated incident. <laughs> I'm happy you didn't get scammed, though. Gorgeous Articuno. Between 9 and 10. Gorgeous. Love to see it. All right, last stack magic, and then we got Japanese packs, and we'll be onward to the next break. I feel like that's something that they could easily do online, though. And I'm sure that they will capture energy for colorless. Tough Feast? I think there was still a good amount of heads, but we still got packs. Hold on. Probably between eight and nine. Jeez. Dragon. My lord. That one snuck up on me. For those of you just coming in here, we already have 60 breaks full for the release. Or at least 50, I guess. Reviews are valuable. That is correct. But this guy's price is cheaper, but he only has one review, and it's bad. And the person said in the review that they got scammed. I'll take the risk for, you know, saving $2. That's like when I... I, I legit, like, do not understand the decisions sometimes that people make. Just take a second and breathe. The amount of time that you're going to have to dedicate to dealing with the scam is going to outweigh the extra $5 that you pay for something. That is Dragon. Did I give the grade on that? Dude, between 9 and a 10. Let me look at it with both hands. Look at it with both hands. Beige 2021 circa February. Let me, let me use both hands so I can look at this. Let me turn this volume up louder so you guys could see it better. <laughs> well, I mean, at this rate, like, we're... We're going to be in the hundreds by like Monday or Sunday. This last stack magic though. You got a spot in one. That's beaut. Pops truly off the grid. Legit, dude. One thing I do love about popcorns, this man did not have a smartphone until like recently. My guy had a flip phone, dude. Just straight up like off the grid. I love it. 
I don't know how you did it, Bob, so I'm going to be honest with you. Or am I dropping Wednesday's breaks? This release might go into Wednesday. Wait, Wednesdays? What? What's up, my cousin? He would turn it on every six months. I remember when you told me that, dude, and I was instantly, like, intrigued. I was like, how? It's probably a more productive life, honestly. Yes. He was named after his uh, grandpa, but uh, we like to say that he was named after me because I'm, you know, it's funny. It's a Chad name. It's Italian Chad, dude. No, it's for Thursday. To your point, dude, there is not a day that goes by where I don't get at least one blocked call. And I don't understand, like, what they're... Like, they have to be wasting more resources with these calls than what they're actually getting back. H how... How do we still have like telemarketing scams right now in 2021? How? Like, is it really worth the effort for this scam now? You're assuming you're starting at midnight? I'm going to start at 11.30 if I have to randomize more. I might go live a day earlier just to randomize, though. There are no trades during a release, just so you guys are aware. But, Bij, I, I hate you. You you know, you ruined my life. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, like, at this point, dude, I feel like elderly people, like, this has been going on for years. They're going to be not like there's grandmas that like can use an iPhone now. Mine still can't, you know, really change channels on a television, but there's definitely like it's hard to get this scam going. That's a gorgeous trainer card. My lord. But like I how have we not like can't phone companies just not allow a call to go through if it's not like on a valid network? Cause like all of these phone calls, like there's, there's apps that people can use to like call you with like a pseudo number. Cause it's, it, it's not a problem of me like falling for the scam. It's more of a problem. I just like, I'm sick of blocking new numbers. And bees, you didn't look to see if that's gradable. Don't really have to. I'll look to see if there's any like damage that happened in shipping, but you could just pretty much assume that they're immaculate. Well, yeah, dude, like for a little while I was getting calls from phone numbers that were very very similar to like my phone number or like my parents or something and 
and like definitely firsthand have experienced like someone abusing the fact that you can just call from like an app and your number your phone number is different every time oh my god dude it's an absolute n nightmare if you're getting like harassed It was not you, because I would have just answered. Lies. No, there's more breaks on the website. Bless her heart. <laughs> I've said the same thing, dude. My my dad has hands down the best senior moment to date, dude. Legit. <laughs> Legit. He's like, yeah, Joe, I need help with something. It's like I'm trying to get this uh, this document on my phone. Like it was like a like a business card or something like that or like a receipt. And he's like, I'm like, I'm like, well, what are you doing? And I kid you not, dude. When I say that his phone was on the table and he's like, it's not working. And I was like, what's not working? What are you doing? Literally. He's like, it's not scanning. I immediately started laughing and he's like, what, what's so funny? I'm like, I'm like, okay, opa, there's a camera on the front and the back of the phone. What's this going to do? And he immediately got mad and looked at me. He's like, just shut up. He's adapted well, though. Best senior moment I've ever experienced in my life. So when you say bless their heart, believe me, I feel it. But, like, to that point where, like, boomers are getting scammed... My parents were straight up like, you couldn't subscribe to WoW. Like, you, they're never going to put their, their credit card info online. So to think that, like, you're going to scam them successfully via phone is probably wishful thinking. Flashlighting. I could honestly say that I will never be doing such things. Why would I do that? That's just a McDonald's promo. I'm not McDonald's. McDonald's. Mickey D's. No, she is. She had a senior moment, dude. It's okay. Legit, though, dude, my grandparents were the worst in that aspect, though, with technology. They could only watch the Italian channel because, obviously, they're Italian, and it makes them feel closer to home, the motherland. And uh, if you changed the channel off of Channel 3, which is the satellite... DEFCON 5, TV's down, boys. It's broken. If they, like, so help them, God, like, in press, instead of volume, they press channel, game over. It's gone. Throw it out. Buy another one. The amount of times that my parents had to go over by them or, like, one of the grandkids, impeccable amounts. Welcome, dude. Yeah, people have been telling me that uh, the high viewer counts seem to be a little bit, uh, maybe not completely authentic, which I haven't been paying attention to it, but yikes. It's kind of embarrassing.
So welcome. But yeah, that was my first encounter of like a senior moment of that magnitude that like floored me. Well, dude, you're not the only one. I've had like five or six other people mention it. Dude, it's humans grading your cards, so it's there's not really like a a wholehearted recipe. After grading 500 cards, you get like kind of a feeling. Cuz you got to if a card isn't perfect centering, but everything else is perfect, you kind of got to like account for it differently. What is, but oh God, dude, you're giving me anxiety just for me reading that. Beautiful, dude. Welcome to the family. Well, Monkey Mustard over here says, if it has good cantering on the back, it'll, it can get a ton. Thanks, Monkey Mustard. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. The misspelling of that word and your name together is perfect. And I love you for it. A condiment for for Neanderthals. Well, if I pull you a card, you know, actually look at the card and listen to what I'm saying. It's hard for me to like be like very, very specific, but that's like a better way of centering Put it this way, right? BGS it's a little bit easier because there's four subcategories. If centering is a nine and everything else is a ten, the card can still be a nine five. However, if centering is a five and everything else is a ten, the highest grade that it can get, I believe, is five and five point five. So a five five. The first card I sent to get graded was, it wasn't just one. I sent like five cards from my childhood binder. If that makes more sense. So PSA doesn't have subgrades displayed, but we have to assume that somewhat of a similar process is used to grade the cards. Just lose everything, Steve French. I don't know what happened, dude. I thought you, f I thought something bad happened. We're still on break one, but uh, once this is over, it'll go infinitely quicker. This is the very large break that we do on Fridays. Why? Because it's fun. Chad will get him back. He's here enough. Just so you guys are aware, stuff on the website, even though, you know, it does say it in the title, friendly reminder, it is for next Thursday, and it is the Shining Fates release. Um, feel free to start buying in advance, because we already have, like, a whole lot of breaks full. What you mean rip fire, dude? Fire got plenty of hits. Why are you booing? I'm right. I'm sorry I couldn't pull you a Zard though yet. There's still packs on the table here. It's not over just yet.
It looked like a Zard for a second, but then I saw the other edge. Gorgeous grass, and it's gradable. Top edge is a little bit rough, though, surprisingly. Probably a nine. I never pulled you as arch because you didn't believe in me. You just made fun of me and called me names. I don't think anyone's going to find that dude. I'm sorry. You obviously didn't, dude. You say you believed in me, but deep down, I think you knew that you didn't. So it's not my fault, it's yours. It's not anyone's fault. The edge did look like a Zard, though, straight up. I need to restuff the packs better. Imagine, dude. Imagine. If I did that, if I went through all that trouble, every pack's a Zard. Putting hits in every single pack. I know that, like, because the population on this planet is so vast, there is one person, 1,000% going through that trouble of doing that. I don't know why, but they do. The breaks are on the website for release night, so Thursday. Doesn't really matter when I have it, it's more of when you can have it, you know? Dude, fantastic break. 12 mini binders as well, and I need to grab another fresh case of those. Hold on one second.
Hey, Just Play, that's not nice. You, you're not here for me? The good old days? The good times? I don't know, man. You kind of hurt my feelings. Why is it melting? My favorite Pokemon is Raichu, bro. Miltank was the bane of my existence as a child. When you've when you're in Goldenrod City versing Whitney. Just Blaze, you don't need to convince me, okay my guy. I was more so just making a making a, a hee ha joke, if you will. It might be morning at this point. Pretty much all but two. The easier way of doing that is just doing it until the box is empty now. Uh, for these mini binders, we've got Rebel Clash. Nice variety of them. I mean, this box needs to just get out of the way. The, the only way to do it now, Undead, my boy Mr. Baker, you, you gotta buy in advance. That's how you do it. Alright, dude. Let's play the game. Where did I put the marker down? A game that I've not been very, very good at. Did I just push it off the desk? I hate this so much. Whenever I can't find the marker. It causes me great pain and suffering. I, tomorrow, will be buying, like, costco size box of markers for this reason. I will never have to suffer like I am right now ever again. Haley, I'm stealing another marker, thanks. I will, I will. Okay. List of people. Every single person in the break getting a mini binder. They are available. You could you can buy an, a double XL uh, mouse pad, which is basically this, on Stream Elements merch. I don't make them. Stream Elements does. So like, I just provided the art, and I charge the least amount that they let me charge. I think it's 36 by 18. The thing is very large, and it's awesome.
Well, you got to be the last spot. Are you the last spot? The, the link for exclamation point merch, not the merch on our website. Which I'll add some more to that. It's just a lot easier. I don't have to go through, like, we've made our own merch before, but... It's really annoying sometimes. You saw it on the website either because we never sold it. <laughs> um. Your name simultaneously, Raymond, reminds me of Rocket Power and also the game Rayman. Both at the same time. And thank you for this. An autographed one? I mean, it gets shipped to you and I don't have them. I mean, in person, I guess, I would sign it. Do pins? Hit me with a message so I remember who that... Imagine. Dude, it's huge. Like, I have one because I bought one of each thing on the merch site to see like quality and all the quality is amazing. It's in a second, and then we'll move on to break two. Since there's only 10 breaks tonight, I will end uh, this giveaway like at break six or seven. Next Thursday. That's what's up on the website right now. piles, which I'm sure are not going to be even. Solid amount of hits, though. The color really doesn't matter. It would have mattered if the art didn't fill up the entire playmat, but I made it fill the entire playmat. So it'll be like the bottom of it, yeah. Hundred dollars in top loaders. The quality is really, really good on it too. Like I showed it off on stream. It, the thing is huge. I love it. I don't even know who that is, Steve French.
Right, but like, is it a Komodo dragon that streams? Everything fits pretty well. Certain certain spots, as always, just absolutely go crazy. Do I count them myself? <laughs> I don't know why I found that question so funny. Because, like, I know what you meant. But, like... It's like... It's like... Dude, you can count pretty high. No, Excel does it, so I don't... I don't make any human error. Where someone yells, 36, 37, then you lose count. I didn't even put in Wednesdays yet, so I'll put Wednesdays and Todays together at the end. You DM me in Discord? Thank you. So I remember. No, you're fine, dude. I found, like, it just sounded hilarious to me because, like, I don't know. Just the way it was asked made me laugh. It, I really have no explanation for why I laugh that hard. Some, sometimes stupid stuff makes me, makes me laugh. How long is this stream going to be? Half as long as usual. counting all the packs on the floor yeah unfortunately that's like not an efficient way it wouldn't be the most accurate it's easier just to add up all the breaks and how many packs are in them okay We did that deliberately because my quote unquote three days off are not really three days off. It's like three days of working, working in another way other than streaming to make sure that this release goes smooth. I just copied and pasted the same names twice. That's good. Oh, and YouTube didn't even have the list up during the entire break, so that's good. I'm sure I'm going to be getting messages. I don't know where I am. Who am I? Vivid Voltage. Listen, dude, I'm sarcastic as well. Love you back. box of vivid voltage like this is these it's it's one booster box is the size of these release breaks it's going to be very very quick in terms of um how quick we get through release breaks we have a twitter but 
really use it because I don't really care for it. Oh, I'm going to use the bathroom really quick because I was just opening packs for about two hours straight without moving and stretch the back. Coming back guys, just making a coffee.
Who followed me? Oh, Worm, thank you for that sub. Appreciate you. Wix, thank you for the follow. All right, let's do this. I'm not going to wait for this to cool off. It's going good. Ivan, you've had good grass luck. Don't, don't, don't turn your back on it, dude. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Still supports the channel. Regardless if it was free for you to do it or not. Baby. That colorless. William. Probably a nine. Gorgeous, though. Bear Scooter. Oh, that was a mouse. Someone bought the mouse pad? Beautiful. Honestly, dude, thing is nice. I'm about to put mine underneath, like, my keyboard and monitors downstairs in my gaming setup. No, you're fine. I I just wasn't. You, you don't need to. You don't need to do the homework. I was more more so curious. That's all. It's just nice to have, dude. Honestly, my son. My father. Dang, dude. Replacing the Marnie mat? It comes in multiple colors, but the color doesn't really matter because this covers where you would see the color. Like, the, the art is the entire mouse pad. It's kind of like a stock option that they have for stream elements. So, like, the bottom will be different, or, like, the edge of it. <laughs> Every time you slack off, you'll see me judging you. Sometimes it's okay to slack off, dude. Sometimes you need to. It's called vacation. Not that I do that, but... Super gradable. 10 prospect all day. Um, the dude who paints, like if, if you're aware of like the Packers and all that, he's painted um, the, the Packers fence for like the longest time. Spencer. Really, really cool guy. And amazing artist. He's also like painted. He's done personal paintings like for NFL players, like making them into Dragon Ball Z characters and whatnot. Legit, probably going to have to replace like my mouse pad for my gaming setup downstairs. It It's like a rough one. I have like a mouse pad on top of a mouse pad because I'm big brain like that. Yes, he's he's done custom cleats. He painted the one painting that used to be behind me. It was like a thrift store painting. And he put me in it. And it was like Native American sort of like art. And then he put like a, a Zatu in there. Double the mouse traction. Well, it's just like the surface. 
eventually gets like kind of like sanded down. Same with like the mouse. I've had to replace mice multiple times. M mice and mice. How many Zars in that first break? No, no notable ones. Yes, like the Green Bay Packers, the the, the football team. It's like triple the size of this playmat. Just letting you guys know. It's 36 by 18, I, I believe. It's not even like competitive, but like it just sands down. Because like I have one of those razor ones. But, like, the surface just gets, like, there's one, like, side that has more, more texture to it, a little bit more roughness, and it eventually just gets sanded down. I've seen certain setups, like, CSGO players, like, legit turn their sensitivity, like, way down, and their their range of motion is, like way like larger like for them to turn and shoot somebody they gotta turn like they gotta move their mouse like six inches is everything on the website sold out I mean I'm just gonna keep adding the goal would be like I mean Last release, we did over 100. So, I mean, expect the same. Mind you, it is 36 packs, so it's like, doesn't take that long to open. 100 breaks where we do 54 packs versus 100 breaks of doing 36 is a big difference. Yeah, I don't think they're sold out just yet. This isn't sped up. Believe it or not, I actually slow the camera down. No, this is just how fast I opened it. For for me to speed up the camera, by the way, that is absolutely gorgeous. Who is calling me? And why does my phone have the ringer on? Oh, it's Haley. Hold on one second. I just had to call her about something.
No more interruptions. Oh, no. Okay, it's not that cold. We're okay. Beautiful, dude. Between 9 and a 10. Only thing slightly imperfect is left and right centering. Completely forgot what we were just talking about, but if I had just left a question up in the air, then sorry. zero clue what you're talking about. Are you talking about the lyrics of the song that I just realized? It's only 10 o'clock too. To be fair, completely knocked out yesterday. Don't know what time I slept. But I I will tell you guys that I woke up at 4 p.m. today. Which waking up a couple hours before I have to stream normally isn't a big deal, but I was panicked and then I had to get ready. It's kind of a flex. It's not. The reason why I slept in is because I stayed up 24 hours the previous two days. <laughs> or previous day. What's guys? I don't know. Who Who is guys? Up? Yeah. I'm in the... I'm in the, the Arctic tundra that is the Chicagoland area. William, you got a mini binder as well. Very solid box. Dude, with all the salt and whining, you can't even call them Happy Meals anymore. Some Wham Burgers. Some French Cries. I don't I have zero clue what you're talking about, Brian, but I love you. And co op in what? Break number three. I thought I had to sneeze for a second, but my body was lying to me.
heat sampler. Brian, I'll, I'd have to, whenever I have time, which I, I cannot promise you because I barely have time to promise for myself, uh, I'll look into it, but yeah. I need a case of darkness ablaze. You need that birthday heat in three, five, and six. I'll try my best. Oh, you're fine, Brian. As long as you're understanding and not, you know. Dude, it's all I have to give. The song is kind of like not the happiest one, but it's still so good that I'm going to leave it on. Give you cod? No. No fish here, dude. so sad right now. Who knew that after a week of opening packs that your fingers just lose all their friction? Would it be wise to trade base cards for modern cards? If you're looking only at current value, then like if it makes sense, I don't like trading cards because that means that I am giving something away for something else. I'd rather just have both, if that makes sense. What's my favorite shellfish? I, I feel like that's the first time I've ever been asked that. And where I should be giving you a medal for first question ever asked, I don't have any. So now I just feel bad.
That should be enough. In the future, just make sure you put uh, the brake number as well. Do I need hidden fades? I think this is hidden fades. Yeah, we're good. What did I pull for you, What that you're getting graded I, for my curiosity? I understand justifying it too, to Worm's point. You would hold it, I mean, Generally speaking, you don't want to be in a rush to get rid of older cards, that's for sure. But the only way that it can be justified is like the current values for each of them are equal, where it's a fair trade. But I wouldn't want to get rid of them. Oh, dude, that's a beautiful card. Oh, you're fine, dude. Break number tres. I think I still need a first edition one, but I have a pretty high grade uh, non first edition. Oh, I do. I got a lot in the collection. Some have even sent me, like, amazing people just sent me some. Olivia sent me some. Grizz did. Saxton did. A bunch of people did. Came through. Dude, it's a beautiful card. That's the second hardest card to pull from the set. Well, I mean, regardless... If you're waiting for it or not, you took the steps to properly protect your card. If you're going to keep it forever, I mean, it doesn't really matter how long it takes. I was happy to hear that Ice got a, uh, one of the Zards I pulled him got BGS 10. I don't know why Oh Baby was filtered. Speaking of cards that you don't usually see, this is gorgeous and not the easiest to pull. It'll also be your first graded card and it's gradable, dude. Gorgeous. It's 10 material, dude, between 9 and a 10, but I could definitely see that card getting a 10. We got electric. Kyle, very nice. Yeah. 
Well, after this release, I'm sure we're going to get really close to like 30,000 packs open this year already. pile. I didn't even give a Zard prediction for today. There's only 10 breaks, so I'm going to say four. Four Zards. In 60 seconds? I mean, with no card trick and no regard to, like, you know, not damaging the cards. I could probably open a box in thirty in sixty seconds. You just have to define what's opening a pack. Is it just opening the pack, putting the cards down? Is it you know fanning through them? In battle styles, I'm going to do that with a box that won't be in a break. Let's see how fast I can do it. I was going to do it for Vivid Voltage, but guess what? Didn't have extra time. Because that means I have to film, edit, show a timer on screen that can't like be manipulated editing is just a process dude I'm not even like I, I'm very amateur at best for editing videos so it takes time The dream luck. Hound him. Fire. I really, really like the the hound door ho hollow from like uh I forgot what set it was. It's one of those what's it called? Set expedition. the second one tonight dude you would think this card is common let me look at this baby the Anites. not the greatest centering between eight and nine on the centering still gorgeous though two gold monks Francis, why would you say something so controversial? Imagine saying that, dude. A spot being good in a break? What? in here just saying cassettes. Ooh. Not the greatest centering, that's for sure. 
probably, if I were to say between eight and a nine, more on the eight side. Controversial talk. What, the, the fighting spot being good? No, come on. Oh, crap. Do I have food? Yeah, I have food. We're good. Yo, anybody watch WandaVision on Disney? I watched the first episode, and I'm honestly, like, very, very confused. I don't know if I'm going to keep watching, even though I know it changes from black and white. I have to watch all of it. I just didn't have the patience. And Haley was the one who suggested it. And I was like, I like Marvel stuff. I, but I don't know. I guess I'll keep watching it. First episode is very, very like, I'm like, what the hell am I watching right now? Is this I Love Lucy? I was waiting for it to like get out of the black and white in the in the first episode and it never happened. I'm like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I was like waiting for it to like stop. Has anyone bought an entire break before? Yes. Multiple times. But Bij, I did the math. It's actually cheaper than you're cheaper to buy out a break than get a booster box on my own. I'm aware. Believe you me. In infinity spelt like the card bread and then gantlet. <laughs> All right, dude, I need to get through the rest of these breaks. We, we need, I need time to recover. Gantlet. What's your favorite part about Infinity War? The, inf the Infinity Gantlet, I love that. Xfinity spelling the stream was brought to you by the letter we're just gonna sponsor a letter every stream it's gonna be like Sesame Street we've been pulling a lot of Caesars this week across the board Little tick on the top though. Probably like eight or nine between that. Hyper birds. that on the card unfortunate like scratch on the inside like the surface of the card but probably still get it like eight or a nine
speak and spell, dude. Spick and span. Chunky Chew, I'm gonna be honest with you there, I I did not jump on you in that journey for that metaphor or whatever was going on there. But I do appreciate you. It's a very random lobster thought. On another note though, lobster pretty good. Between nine and a ten, gorgeous. fighting. Another gradable fighting too, dude. Between 9 and a 10. Gorgeous shinies. Is it not, I just had a random thought, like, with that whole interaction, talking about humane ways to, like, kill the food that you're going to eat anyway. Like, a little bit interesting that, like, in the wild, there's no humane way. Like, a wolf is not going to be humane towards, like, a rabbit it's killing. But, like, we have gotten so developed to the point that, like, we don't want it to feel pain when we, like, eat our food. It's very interesting. You think a great white shark is gonna like take my leg off humanely? Or better yet, an alligator? But I get it. Obviously, I, I love animals. I don't wanna like torture them. True. No, that's my point. But like, my my point is is like the category of animals and eating. Any other animal is not gonna show. I guess that's why it's called humaneness. It's like you're being human towards it feeling. What's not true? Just an interesting random thought. I'm not making any sort of political or based s statement, woke statement. Just interesting thought in the middle of that conversation. Box of each.
They did like a study with that where, I don't know if it was like ducks or other animals, but they got immediately afraid of like a shadow that like was shaped like a predator right when it was like born. Like should not have any knowledge to be afraid of like its predator, but like it's in their, like it's like coded into them. Just Google it, you're wrong. Hey man, as long as you admit it. You just did what like 99% of the population refuses to do. Dude, I'm all about them documentaries. David Attenborough. Attenborough. Sometimes, like, footage that they get, you just wonder, like, what hell this cameraman had to go through to get, like, footage of ants bringing stuff back to an anthill. I'd rather watch, like, tornado videos, though, Ed. Did he really? That's crazy. Tonight's conversations. That's what we do here, dude. We talk about just random stuff. The random thoughts that I just like have in the shower. That This is what we talk about. They'd be good hunters. Okay, bullet glass. No. We are not talking politics. No. I know, right? The pass the pacificity. The relevance. Last crazy documentary that I watched before Tiger King, I feel like was, it was like a murder docu-series about like different crazy, crazy things that were happening or have happened. The one with like the pizza delivery guy being strapped up and literally was like, had to rob a bank, otherwise the person put you know a device on them to explode would have would have gone off and it they ended up going off and like it showed the footage in the documentary i was like not expecting it kind of messed me up in the head a little bit after watching that and the fact that they made a comedy in light of that movie, I didn't even know that that actually happened. And I was like, they just made a funny movie about this. E exactly. And it's a much less funnier or happy ending. They never found the person, I think, either. I just listened to the song.
At least in the comedy, there was a flamethrower and nobody died. <laughs> so, you ever seen the movie 30 Minutes or Less? That's like based on something that actually happened and the person, like, died. Are you in law enforcement, Steve French? Or forensics? Oh no. Dude, I did not know that. You should definitely have shared that. That's sick. That's not, that is not, like, a job that you hear every day. That's not an easy one, either. That's crazy. There's certain document like I can't watch those specific like revolving around murder documentaries for too long though because like it messes with it starts messing with my head and like I just get bummed out. <laughs> oh, I bet you can't even imagine, dude. That's like a place where. People truly, you know, start to lose their minds. Confinement is like, it's a weird place. Be it like something as, you know, something as obvious or blatant as prison versus like, just kind of being like stuck where you're at. Psychic or steel hits. This break? Not yet. There's been steel breaks all night. Last last break had a good amount of steel hooks. The one docu series where a guy got like where he was at a baseball game and then was wrongly convicted and exonerated based on that, like, the sitcom footage was probably one of the best recent ones I watched. It's pretty crazy though that like that to be in that situation, like just being like a regular person and then you're like all of a sudden arrested and convicted, that's probably the most scary situation. Exactly. Exactly. Dark is getting a lot of pulls of specs. <laughs> yeah, I watched that. If a hit isn't one of... That's not possible. Everything has an assigned type. Everything is covered. Literally. Oh, my headset died. I think. 
Yeah, it died. Hold on. Grabbing the other one. This headset is louder than the other one. I mean, what are you going to do a documentary on, though? We're living it right now. <laughs> No, no, no. That not a stupid question at all. But I mean, if you're, if you, if this is like your first time being here, dude, like, obviously you're not gonna know like everything. Don't feel bad at all. But yeah, it's legit impossible to pull something that's not covered. Second, beautiful. There you go, Ivan. Dark got a lot of hits this break. We still got more packs on the table. Yeah, I just realized that. Crazy. Ooh. Okay, Carlos, go off. on the top loader food tenable all day tenable that's a gorgeous card to have graded to sealed packs so here is a practice that you should you know sort of just do no matter what Jackie what are you talking about oh I see what you're saying I thought you were trying to sell something. Okay, so aside from the weighing and whatnot, you should just automatically assume if you buy a loose pack that it's more than likely 99% going to be weighed and probably hitless. I would say grade the pack and just keep it, dude. I mean, if you're looking strictly to make money, everything short-term is going to be pretty here today, different answer tomorrow. Ooh. Aside from, like, knowing the exact weight of what a hit is and what the exact weight of what not a hit is, like, just automatically assume if you got some first edition packs, they're not going to have hits in them, but they're still valuable as being packs. Because even if you bought it from a trustable person... Where did they get it from? Where did the person before that get it from, you know? Sealed box, top to bottom, is like the best, fairest way to do it, but a little bit, you know, more rare to find that. Well, I'm just telling you, dude, if you bought a single and got a hollow Lapras, you got very lucky. Yeah, it's one thing opening modern packs, but opening a pack that is literally like 99% more than likely not going to give you a hit just because someone weighed it at some point.
your best bet for having a sealed pack, like with that being said, you still have sealed packs of fossil coming your way. I would say just get the packs graded. The second you open it though, you better hope that you get a hollow that is grade worthy and worth more than what you paid for the pack. Which, like I just said, is not going to be the best chance. Right now you have options. The second you open it, you have very limited. So just simple practices like that will prevent disappointment in the long run. If you buy a sealed pack, automatically assume it's weighed. Yeah, but what if it's not Mojo Jojo? Or Mojoji? Mojo Jojo, dude, the bad guy from Powerpuff Girls. You can you we can we can talk about uh you know the weight all day but like that th that system is not flawless in the same breath it's better to just assume that it isn't I can't tell you what to do but I'm telling you know what I recommend to any run of the mill person whether it's heavy or not heavy or whatever Well, what I just said to you, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you the safest route and the best decision, which is not opening them. Yeah, but you avoid all of that headache of information by just not opening it. That's my point. If you find yourself disagreeing with me, then you really, really want to open it. I can't really change, you know, what you want to do, but that's what I would do. I, I don't open up old packs expecting a hit that are just loosely sold. The potential upside is slim very very slim especially if it's just a couple loose packs what poke i mean am i any less of a pokemon fan for keeping the pack sealed getting them graded and they're all over my wall now i i i, w I don't think so that's what i'm saying you're really trying to justify it right now you can make this a very, very much more expensive and disappointing experience versus just accepting the reality. That's the point. One involves you still having a piece in your collection that will go up in value over time. The other is potentially just getting a bunch of ball cards and being infinitely disappointed. One has no risk at all. The other has risk. So it's kind of like that, that's where you got to weigh it. And not the pack. I mean, weighing your options. We see how imperfect today Pokemon is with production. What if they accidentally miscut a card and there's a little bit more on there, affects the weight, and it looks like there would be a hollow and there isn't? We know this to be a possibility. 
not everything is exactly on the money the same. And as I say that, we get a roughly centered hyper trainer. Very tick on the bottom. I don't think it's enough to be a miscut though. Probably like a seven. The only thing that's heavy is, <laughs> well, Min Ming, I will tell you that we do have brakes and they are very, very much affordable. You don't even know what sealed boxes go for. I mean, a sealed first edition, the, the oldest box in existence would be the highest and that's $400,000. Confirmed sales done through like auction houses. That's another thing, too. Just because it's out of the pack, pack fresh doesn't mean nothing. If it's miscut, you ain't getting a 10. People that say pack fresh in any sort of description is, like, wasting my time. You might as well just put, like, the fact that Pokemon cards are made by Pokemon. Sealed graded? I mean, it's higher than non-graded. I think a sealed black triangle pack graded is like upwards of like $3,000, $2,000. Jackie did, um, before anybody comes in here, and says, oh, they're making more. Um, let me say, uh, has has first edition Pokemon gone up in value? Has Evo gone up in value? Pokemon goes up in value over time. What are they looking for when grading the pack? I mean, if it's scratched and perfections, if it's like really, really like crinkled up, What is a black triangle? A very rare factory error. Which is just involving the packaging of the pack, not anything inside of it. Do I think card prices will come down? Prices of what? Over time, it increases in value. We're just seeing it happen a lot quicker because there's more people. So, yes. But as a collector, I kind of don't care about the value because I'm not looking to sell. It's valuable. It's cool, but it's not the reason why I'm collecting it. If you think otherwise, let me know when you're selling your stuff and I'll happily pick it up for way cheaper value than it will be in five years from now. A lot of people will like be like, no beef. Give like their explanation of whatever YouTube video about the economy of Pokemon they watch and then they wouldn't sell though. Well, they're not available anymore. And people are becoming more and more aware of like how good these sets were. People need to, like, stop trying to, like, mm. 
I feel like people like try to like knock Pokemon down a few pegs when they see the value gone is gone up. It's like glass half full. Whatever you have is now worth more. It was gonna happen over time anyway. It's just happening a lot faster. Then you got the people, you'll see, they're going to make more. And it's like, I mean, sure, hopefully, but I don't think it's happening based on the past three or four times it's been said. The supply is like not even remotely close to the demand right now. Stuff has been gone at the business level for like six months probably stuff's just been gone aside from like new stuff and then the newer stuff is gone right after it comes out We just opened Crimson in the Feast. Did you see how many cool cards came out of that? To think people hated it? It's literally just because of players. You're 1,000% correct. If you're getting your info from people commenting on stuff on Facebook, don't do that anymore. You're going to have a very negative outlook, not only on Pokemon, but on life. Current giveaway after like break seven, probably. All Facebook Pokemon is is like literally everyone who has watched like way too many uh, Pawn Stars episodes and like they think that they can control the market by just yelling at people to sell it for cheaper and then they turn around and flip it for a profit. That's all it is. So stay off of Facebook for your own sanity, not safety. Oh, that's true. It's the same way if you should sell it. Like I, the amount of times that I've had to like remind people in like the Facebook pages that I manage in groups, I'm like, hey. Last time I checked, I didn't have to check up on you if I wanted to sell my vehicle. So it's going to be the same thing for Pokemon cards. Not to make sure you're okay with the price. Even though you're the one not even having the money or interest in buying it. Dude, Steel's been popping off tonight. I don't know what gave the impression that Steel is a bad spot. Alright, 1818 by 9. Whoever has taught you this has lied to you. Oh yeah, Darian's is good people. Like, I'm just letting you guys know, like this is not like a conspiracy where everyone's hiding the packs. There, there's none. If I needed more packs tomorrow, I couldn't get them. Luckily, I don't. But here we are. Whatever damage these YouTube videos that came out due to Pokemon's tweet, like, have caused, it's going to be irreversible and inevitable that people figure out that it isn't true. <laughs> 
How many breaks per hour? I'm not going to random after every break. I'm going to random once before I start. I'm not going to do trades. I'm doing giveaways off camera. 36 packs will take me like five minutes, dude. Time is four years behind. Don't worry, dude. Our hometown in Italy, I'm pretty sure, like, just got, like, internet this year. Even though, like, it, in reality, it's probably, like, in the past five years. But is it any better? No. Just straight up, like, mountain village. You're Mr. Pokemon? Doubtful, dude. Because if you were Mr. Pokemon, you wouldn't have made jumbo promos or any promos if you were a fan of me and Mr. Pokemon. starting with what you mean yeah I don't really like place the packs on the table consistently in an order so this time darkness then vivid then champions Sealed. I, I think I have a couple sealed. The majority of them I opened and graded. Fun fact, if you send in the promo sealed and graded, it's going to grade the plastic around your promo, not the promo itself, much like they grade packs. They don't know to open them. Get in line, dude. I, I'm having that conversation first. If there's anybody who is the most mad about jumbo promos, it's me. Not everything is sold out, dude. There's still spots on the website. Just keep scrolling. When did they invent them? I don't know, but it was a mistake. We already know this, though. I feel like I rant about this once a stream, and I need to move on and just accept that there are, there are people in this world that are too stupid to comprehend. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes with um, holiday sets like that. So, yes, I think. I'll let you know if it's not. I got a bunch of those promos graded. Which honestly, like, I feel like is a is a good touch of the collection, seeing that kids growing up at this point are not even gonna know what Toys R Us is. Crazy to think dude that like it just like that gone. There will never be another Toys R Us kid. Or wanting to be one. Sad. Because that place was sick when I was a kid. I think I got my first bike at Toys R Us. They still exist in Canada? Don't lie to me like this, dude. I... I I'm not there to see or enjoy it, therefore I don't accept it.
That's pretty sick. I remember going there, like, with my mom Christmas shopping. My lord, dude. I love Toys R Us so much. It was so much fun. It's it's crazy to me. First off, OG mommy, mommy, I I'm proud of you and I'm happy for you. I just not that excited about the McDonald's promos. And I get it. They're valuable. I just it doesn't excite me that much. Gorgeous. I'm surprised that people are still talking about it right now. I guess it's only been like a couple days though. I mean, you shouldn't be ashamed for benefiting from something. With that same logic, anyone who participated with the GameStop stunk, like, should they be ashamed? No, they made business moves. That's tenable, dude. Absolutely gorgeous. Between 9 and a 10, but definitely a 10 prospect. Red, please. I can't tell if you're trolling or not. Guess. In the current state, gorgeous colorless drapia. Yeah? I mean, Chunky Tree, here's the thing. Why? She's just trying to get Pokemon packs like everybody else. There's nothing wrong. The only way you can get it is Happy Meals. No, dude, it means that they're even going to, like, they're going to make more of Team Rocket first edition, all right? That's what it means. I mean, in, in Chunky Chew's defense, 50 is a lot, but, I, I mean, I didn't even hear the, the rest of it. I, I could care less what you do. I mean, if I were to get 50 of anything from any restaurant, I, I would like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone reacted that way. People crying about the children. People saying that like kids not having a chance to get any more than likely are people who are older don't have kids and just want more available so that they can have an opportunity to also sell them is what I've found. Just like how people get offended for certain things like it's usually people that don't even have a dog in the fight and don't have any sort of connection to whatever 
was said or is being said. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, imagine, imagine just like not saying anything. Like, <laughs> they aren't going to be f not if you freeze them, dude. Just thaw those puppies out. Listen, dude, let a man have a dream. Speaking of Kadoba, though, low key have not had Kadoba for at least two years, maybe a year and a half. Yeah, but SRT, here, here's the God honest truth. As sad as that one isolated incident is, I think it's good. For a little taste of reality as well. That kid will will grow up and realize that things are not to be taken for granted. Glass half full. Relax. That's not what I said. Oh, I mean, for sure. There was plenty of stuff that was sold out when I was a kid. Imagine having to be there and having to get a physical copy of a game. Like pre-orders actually mattered. It's good for a little disappointment early in life. You appreciate things more. <laughs> In the same light, I am not the one, you know, just straight stiff arming a kid in aisle 12 to get the rest of the Pokemon out of the shelf. I don't have a dog in the fight. But my God, dude, the amount of people, the self-righteous people that I've seen on Facebook is enough to make you throw up a little bit in your mouth. The loudest ones are the ones that didn't benefit from it. That's what I've tend to found, tend to find. Like McDonald's gonna run out of burgers, dude. Straight up. That looks gradable too for fighting. Might be saving some children. I mean, depends. I've had both. I like them both. Now, red is being what we like to call realistic, where people are getting outraged for something. Absolutely, dude. To a T, Arlen. The ones that complain the most are the ones that didn't get a chance to flip stuff for a higher value. That's the only people you see complaining. Happy Meal out of print, dude. No more burgers. Meanwhile, while we're having this conversation, CEO of Pokemon and CEO of McDonald's, both in their own Olympic-sized pool, 
kind of just swimming around in the hundred dollar bills. Just think about that. Having a lifeguard on duty so they might not drown in their moan money. Nuggies. One more Disney song? Sure, why not? McDonald's is different, dude, than it was when I was younger. I feel like in eighth grade, if I had a McDouble, I was on top of the world. McDouble now, I feel like I just, like, I made bad life decisions. I wonder how much stuff has changed. Like, how much have they cut corners over the years? Stuff tasted better when I was younger. And I don't think that... It's just an age thing. Oh, you just thought it was just casual Dwayne the Rock Johnson just spitting hot fire? Exactly, Worm. Exactly. But some people just feel the need to be the savior that nobody asked for. It's Mulan, dude. Rash and that's it for mini binder. In the same breath, too, like, the equivalent of what you see on Facebook, people, like, posting, this is overvalued, blah, blah, blah. If someone came up to me as I was buying, like, milk at the store or, like, bread and said, you're overpaying for this, this is this much, I would literally be like, dude, you better, like, leave me alone. Get out of my face. Pulling an all-nighter? No, we only got 10 breaks tonight. Now when Shining Fates comes out, that's a different story. Like, I wouldn't even be thankful at that point. Now that I think about that, I'd be more annoyed. I'd like if it's like a dollar over, I'm like literally stop talking to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't keep anything out of these breaks, True Jordan. We remove the the codes, but we lower the spot price because of it. All right, too much Disney, dude. You could tell when I added these all together. There we go. Offset it with some Avenged Sevenfold. I mean, we're not even close to release, and there's like 70 breaks full or whatever is full. I don't even know at this point. So I, I feel like 100 breaks, just over 100 breaks probably filled up the 37 hour.
What's 4,860 4, divided by 36? Because that's how many packs I opened. That'll tell you how many boxes, and I could probably estimate how many breaks it was. I could probably look, but I don't really have the time to do it, and I just want to keep opening. That, that was the number of Vivid Voltage. Six. This is Unbox of Darkness Blizz. Next Thursday. I have zero clue. 75 breaks are sold out. Twelve AM. Eleven thirty technically. It'd be eleven it'd be twelve AM Friday. But I'll start the stream Thursday night. I'll end this booster box giveaway after break seven. So after next break. It's going to take me like probably a long time to randomize. So I, if I go live the day before or earlier just to randomize, I might do that. Randomizing 20 breaks versus randomizing 100 is a big difference. <laughs> No, this is Darkness of Blizz. With 75 full though, like, even if it is 36 packs, like definitely is telling me that like, hey, you're, even if you didn't want to, you're gonna break the 37 hour stream record, so. Prepare yourselves for that. Also, rest assured that um, even if you don't time it correctly on when your break is, everything is going to be, you know, vodded. So you could always go back. Shot Rod, thank you for gifting that sub. I appreciate you.
six hours. I think the first 36 breaks or 30 breaks, whatever was initially on there, filled within 30 minutes. Next, thank you for the follow. Aroland, thank you very, very much for that sub. Appreciate you. Try 15 minutes. I mean, we've had like the biggest break that we did, the 1500 pack break, sold out in 30 seconds. So I'm not really surprised. <laughs> I mean, a limit, quote unquote, so to speak, I don't foresee one. I would say that, like, we'll probably cut it off once I, if I break the record. Having 40 hours is the longest stream. Sounds a lot better than 37, though. Very tempting. Hyper sent to Scorch. Gorgeous. I'm willing to go the distance. Probably a nine. Gorgeous card. Congrats to Matt. With his son. Sent to Scorch Jr. It doesn't even feel like Friday. It's weird. Probably messed me up a little bit that I slept for so long, but... I really didn't sleep that long either. It's more that I got fell asleep later. Decided that they didn't know how to open packs for a second. We're probably more than likely on that stream gonna hit 30,000 packs total for this year. Cause I didn't add Wednesdays or today's, so we're probably gonna be floating like around 24,000 packs already. And then if we do at least 100 breaks, which we are, it's gonna be 3,600. 3, okay, so that's 100 and we opened almost 5,000. It had to have been like at least like 120 breaks, even though it was 54 packs. Well, yeah, Vivid Voltage, the breaks, the number of breaks is going to be inaccurate because we did one boxers, three boxers. Just trying to like, I mean, 100 breaks is 3,600 packs. So it has to be more packs than that to theoretically break the record. 
which I think is pretty easy considering it's been on the website for might as well be five minutes in the grand scheme of things. Crowbat is dark. Dark has been very, very kind these last couple breaks. This is all I do. I mean, like, if there was, wasn't like COVID. Are you saying like for a living? Yeah, this is all I do. I have certain investments and in multitude of different things, but this is this humble pack farmer, dude. What's up, Chupacabra? Thank you for uh, messaging me too. Honestly, with it being negative four degrees outside though, am I really missing out on anything? Nah. Hopefully you checked the dates of if you just bought in on the website. Because the everything on the website since like the beginning of stream is for next Thursday. Unless of course you know the difference and can read a date. But some people, you know, they just panic by without kind of reading it. And oh no, I lifted shift. Eighteen, eighteen, nine, and nine. Giveaway after this break, correct, Ivan. God bless your heart. I'll tell you what, Ivan, you're getting you're getting a lot of hits. If you're waiting for an Egyptian God card to be pulled, dude, I think we're opening the wrong stuff for you. I don't find myself opening that Yu-Gi-Oh stuff these days. Just so you realize, I mean, it's a smart move because 
it's been up on the website since the beginning of stream for next Thursday, the release, and you know, a lot of breaks have already filled. <laughs> Buying in advance is not a bad thing. I think it's TNF Live. Miko Nico, thank you for that follow as well. What's up, Brian? Zashin. Being a humble pack farmer, I want like a picture on like my uh, my grandkids is like mantle. It's just like me with like a like a pitchfork, straw hat. What playing some Apex and watching me? How do you do this? It's a lot. I guess background noise. Not sure, Ivan. Have you checked eBay? I know boxes are, you know, across the board higher than than what they've gone for in the past. Well, I'm not married. You know, if it's in the stars, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna force decisions like that. But I mean, things are good. I guess like not against kids. I love. I would love to have a miniature me in which I would train to just conquer the world. I mean, dude, I'm live majority of my life. So to say that I have much freedom now would be a little bit of a, a not, just a lie. <laughs> And my hours are crap too. So like all the, oh, just wait till they can't sleep. Guess what? I'm still up because I don't sleep. Bring it on. If anything, I'd have to be live more. Ups the stakes a little bit. Because I want to provide more. Do I hear someone who's going to pick up the pack wrappers for free? Sold. I mean... Not really. We've already we've already seen that I can go like thirty seven hours, which will soon be broken probably 
next Thursday. It gets to a certain point, like what? Am I gonna have an alternate channel where like the we got two going at once opening breaks? It gets to a certain point where it's like inefficient. It's not solving the problem though, because then like you're dividing the community in half. Was that you? I believe it looked gradable too. What's up, Grizz? Not necessarily. I mean, it's definitely an option, but like, not really needed right now. Trust me, dude. If if I'm one of the only people left on the planet with Pokemon packs left, I should tell you that I'm thinking a couple moves ahead. Just got done soon some gear grinding in Destiny. Love to hear it, dude. Any good drops? I mean, alternatively, a dodge, also an option. I just, you know, start using my feet, and eventually I'll get the dexterity going enough where I could just have a second stream where uh, I, I just open pack simultaneously, hands and feet. I could grow more arms. Don't know how to do that logistically yet or if there's the science for it, but yeah, that's also an option. I could just be more people. Instead of just me being one person, I could just, you know, split into two people. I love that, like, he's basically, like, just an Iron Man suit away from being Iron Man. And he was also in the movie Iron Man, too. Can he just make a suit and start, like, fighting crime already? How has that not happened yet? He's already got the background for it. I mean, I feel like if there was an Iron Man suit, I feel like it'd be, like, known. I mean, I'm not, like, too well-read into military tech, but is that even, like, an actual thing that, like, would be beneficial? Reminds you of an OOL. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Just like Iron Man 2 did. Drone better. The guy with the bird. My bird. Was he Ivan in that movie too? Did they just be using Ivan for for bad guy name? Like, just easy go-to bad guy name? Actually, isn't that scuffed? Well, there you go, dude. Kabu. Not fantastically centered, but still beautiful.
Probably an eight. Every COD Zombies. Man, I'm probably just going to end up pulling the trigger and buying one of the older Call of Duty Zombies, or the games that had Zombies on G2A. And hope to God that they still have like people actively queuing up for it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to solo play it, which is fine. The hits have been great. No Zards yet. No Hyper Chonkers yet either. Yeah, there are still breaks open on the website right now. We are not sold out for the next week's release. If people think we're sold out, keep scrolling. I know it's a little bit hard, but you could sort it by oldest to newest. You have to scroll for a little bit. Eventually, like, Nick will, you know, remove the full ones from the website. But we'll keep them all up there for the time being. Thursday, 11.30 p.m. It will be a midnight release. Frog of Deer. Yeah, but I'm I don't like change Grizz and I want to play the one that I want, the older one, the one that I grew up with. Forgot this Gyarados on the side here. Can I not look? I'll look real quick. My bad. Big Red One did not have zombies in it. I think it was Modern Warfare that had zombies first. The Black Ops one, though, is sick. Here and there, I'll watch, like, playthroughs of people playing, like, the older one. I'm like, man, I'm just going to buy it, which I will. I do have friends notorious for, like, is it worth it to spend money on this? And I'm just like, just buy it, please, so we can play together. You know you like it. My buddy Max does that, and it drives me up a wall sometimes. But I love him, so. I do know that after WoW Classic, I don't even know if I'm going to play Burning Crusade. Wrath of Lich King, though, different story. The amount of times that I've literally bought a game from for a friend. Or like I almost just do it like I'm like, you're either gonna buy it now or I'm gonna buy it for you. And then eventually it gets them to, you know, shake a leg a little bit. I've been it's the same game with different Visuals, more updated visuals. It's Madden. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wrath of Lich King is my first Max character. 
Between 9 and a 10, dude. Centering is like... It's not even like off-centered. It's just like slightly slanted. Probably a 9. Probably a 9. My biggest hit ever. I mean, like, the Black Triangle box was, like, the craziest thing to ever happen in relation to, you know, us opening packs. I mean, we've had multiple Zard breaks. Three, I guess, three boxes out of um, three Zards out of one box. It's not so much because there's not numbered cards, like... We always pull everything eventually, but it's more so pulling a lot of the rare stuff in a short time period is when craziness ensues. Am I stashing any vintage? Dude, I was probably stashing vintage before anybody even knew what that was. Not as of late. Steve French. As of late, I'm trying not to get the plague known as uh, the Corolla virus. The, to the Toyota virus. Whatever they call it. COVID. In order for me to be happy with a home gym, like it's not feasible. Like I would have to get another like house for a gym. But bees, you could just wear a mask. I don't like think that a mask is enough in a gym. I just, I'm not going to risk it. Well, like, I just, the way that I've worked out is, like, I learned working out in, in a gym with a lot of different, you know, weights and equipment. I, I'd be fine with just, like, free weights, but you need a lot of them. The second that you get used to a certain weight and you don't move up, that's where you plateau and you don't progress. Worm, I get that, and, you know, that's not me saying that it isn't safe, but, like, between, like, going to the grocery store and a gym, I would think that, like, the gym would probably have more risk without any sort of science to back it or being a scientist. One of my buddies got COVID for being in the gym, and I was just like, all right, looks like I'm not doing that anytime soon. Scalping in the workout scene. Kyle, one minute binder. How many of these nines are gonna come back end up coming back as tens? Because I'm like very, very hard on the cards. But it's the best way to do it. Beat the grader in terms of what to expect. I mean it has to at a certain point. At a certain point, like as, as a species, we're just gonna be like, all right, we're done. It's not working. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep living our life. People are gonna die, and that's how it's gonna go. 
You mean stretching? Yes, I do stretch. I'm still down like a lot of weight and haven't really regressed as much as I thankfully was afraid of. Darkness voltage, break eights. And I don't really think that, like, unless I try, I can get back to, like, how bad I was. Because I effectively fixed my problem of eating too much by eating less, and then you get full less over time. That's why this diet actually stuck and worked. I did it gradually. I actually like didn't even start going to the gym until like probably three weeks after dieting like hardcore and doing a lot of like bike riding and stuff. It sucked. I still ate, but like I ate like next to nothing and then it eventually just got to the point where I got accustomed to being very full off of very little food but this is coming every, everybody's different and different stuff is going to work for everybody coming from a person who has streamed 37 hours straight and is going to break the record again are we really surprised that I go the absolute intense most intense way <laughs> That's got to be a weird problem to have. Like, you can't keep on enough weight because your metabolism is really high. Like, it's a it's a better end of the problem, but it's got to be annoying that, like, you have to overstuff yourself sometimes if you're, like, actually having that problem. So, I'm sorry you have to go through that, Steve French. Because being hungry is a feeling, but like being full and having to eat more, you can make the argument it's almost worse. They're both bad. Yeah, but dude, being full and like someone saying like, you need to eat more, especially growing up in my family, it's, it's not a great feeling. No, dude. It, eating the amount of chicken that grilled chicken that I ate, if I had to force feed myself more, it's brutal. Oh, dude, my grandma's like that. Straight up savage. When I was overweight, she called me fat. There's no uh PC culture when it came to my grandma in terms of that straight up savage to the point like it's getting worse with a older age not becoming nicer she she was like oh all the all the pounds you lost it looks like your cousin gained them I was like damn why you gotta say that in front of like she'll look you dead in the face and say that In Italian, mind you. Oh yeah, give away. Might be, might be. I 
I look forward to those years because all the stuff that I'm thinking then I, then I don't say, even though I am pretty vocal, imagine what I don't say. <laughs> I'm going to be the most senile old person ever. And they can't get mad at you. You just say what you want. Winner of the booster box is Emerson. Message me your name and address, and congratulations. Battle Styles is yours. I'll open up a gift card giveaway. Gotta love brutal honesty. I mean, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather be around someone who is brutally honest than a yes man, if that makes sense. As a like a like a true like close best friend. But it's not like there there are people that are just being a dick and there's people that are actually like providing you good feedback that you need to hear. There's definitely a distinction. I'm just going to be like so senile where like I give somebody a present and it's like my like socks that I accidentally put in there because I'm old I mean it's a name for Richard Constantine how can a name not be family friendly we had a couple Richards in here your grandma called you a sissy boy <laughs> Fantastic. Look at you, little sissy boy. Little stable boy. I know, Constantine. I just had to hit you back with it. just wanted to save your soul okay believe me dude I grew up in Catholic schools my entire life it's definitely a lifestyle we're not even gonna get into that conversation but trust and believe that I do understand My grandma's been here for like beyond my entire life in the U.S. and has actively avoided learning English. Imagine living somewhere for like 40 plus years or however long it has been and like just you're just like, nah, I ain't going to learn English. Yep, I mean, they're all... They're all laid out the same, dude. Just doesn't care. That's that's a level of just like not caring that no one can really aspire to live up to. Dude, you could give her that reason. She's like, no, I don't. She'll, she'll get like that if I, I haven't shaved for a while. She's like, what, what's this? She's like, I know like. 
she doesn't even try to to mix the languages, dude. She just will speak Italian, and that's it. We got one grandparent left, dude. Just that grandpa. She's outlived all of them, despite being, like, the most savage old lady that you'll ever meet. Tenacity as longevity. Oh, I mean the world's the world's not for the weak, that's for sure. And I think that level of tenacity definitely does carry over. Dude, it's even funny if I get roasted though. As of late, I'm doing pretty well in her eyes, though. So, not really a target. The last thing I had that could have been complained was my weight, and then I lost that, so it was just, that was perfection. Well, it's like will to live, you know? Obviously, like, if you're, like, in a survival situation on a desert island... You gotta, you gotta really, really want to survive, and as well as making good decisions and all that. But oh, it, legit! It, good luck trying to explain what I do to anyone above the age of fifty years old. My, like I said, dude, my dad st like thinks that like it's like a TV show. He's like, yeah, my son, he's got a show. No, I, I, I literally just say I have a business. That's it. Yeah, but like, I guess, yeah, like you just give a very general answer and let them figure it out. That's one that's one thing that will translate. That got my parents off my back to stop looking for a job. He isn't, but it's like it when he's explaining it to like all the other seniors in the gym, it's like it's not going to be interpreted. Well, well whatever. If, if some dude in, who's like 65 and like If he thinks I'm, I have a TV show, whatever. Well, he was wearing my shirt with like the my face on it, but it's like, how do you describe that to like other old men? They call it Faccio Libro, Facebook. Even though that's like not like, it's just like translating face and book. Sometimes translations are funny to us, so like we just, we say the translations. Probably a nine, gorgeous trainer. An entertainment, God bless. Italian lore. Whenever we're at family gatherings, I allude to the fact that we are mountain people, because like our town is on literally on a cliff, and 
they like don't take too kindly to that. The old times were like, we're not mountain people. I'm like, our town is on a cliff. It's Alta Villa. It's a town that is higher. <laughs> that that's the translation. You do speak for the old person community. So naturally, I, I did not become a, a, a farmer of uh, whatever they would farm out there, barley and wheat. I became a farmer of packs. You can't, you can't, it's just, it's just instincts. You can't fight instincts. Because like, as ridiculous as it sounds, certain things like, we're not making them up. <laughs> Farmer of Zords. But my cousin, like, I have a lot of cousins around my age, so we have our fun saying stuff like this just making up like lore like how many how many chickens and and cows were were given for for my grandmother's hand in marriage they're like that's not how it worked i'm like i'm, I'm just you know reading sorry legit like i said that just off the top of my head and the amount of laughter that ensued after that. Like I made myself laugh just thinking of that. She thought I was making it up. I mean, to be fair, dude, like my grandma like still doesn't even have a cell phone. Power Ranger farmer. Zoids, dude. Which ah, I keep, keep re-reminding myself and I just want to watch it again. For sure. The sneeze that went away earlier came back. I mean, regardless if I don't really discuss business, regardless if I have it or not, when a card shop that is not conducting, when a card shop that is conducting and is a place that um, is doing leagues and it's a place to play Pokemon, that's who gets it earlier. Anyone who is not or doesn't have that same type of arrangement like Darium's um, should not be opening it before midnight, 12 a.m. Friday. So if you guys see any of these streams that are like, I don't care, and it ain't Darium's, go ahead and just drop like a fat report on it. I do my part every time. Because they're the reason they think that they're above card shops and card shops suffer because of those people. Yeah, Wiggles is affiliate like same with Game Capital. Game Capital is a card shop, like a physical card shop. Who's got colorless? I'll 
look at it right now, dude. Grizz, I'll hit you up. What's so? I mean, Darius was a card shop previously. He's been around for like 20 years, dude. Between 9 and a 10, dude. It looks like a 10 prospect. Gorgeous. For the time being, he's definitely talked about potentially going in the physical location direction before. I haven't talked to him in a little bit. Just been so busy. Daniel, congrats. Dude, imagine that card in a black label. Speaking of Salamance, just let me put you the full set real quick. Gorgeous, also gradable. Between 9 and a 10. Probably more closer to a 9, but... Pfft. Like I said, my goal is to beat whoever's grading your card reasonably. So, I I'm curious to see how many of these 9s end up being 10s. Like when I say between 9 and a 10. Well, in terms of Opening up a new card, card store, physical location, or anything of the, for that matter. This is probably the worst absolute time to do that. <laughs> well, yeah, because if I'm tougher within... It's not just looking at a really good card and saying, this is crap. Like It's looking at a card and getting what getting very, very close without going over, pretty much. It's like price is right almost. I, I'm not against doing a reveal. I remember someone distinctly said, don't do a reveal, because I want to be surprised. But like, I'm just like, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be against it. That way people would know that it would be included in their package or to reach out. We didn't go Zardless, ladies and gentlemen. Love to see it. It's a 10 prospect, then. Between 9 and a 10, but it's a prospect for sure. Top edge is the only thing that's going to hurt it. I don't know if it's enough to bring it down from a 10, though. I mean, regardless, vote or not, like, if people would rather me do a reveal, they would be somewhat regular because regardless of how long it takes, once said amount of time passes, they will all come in around that same time frame. It's, it's limited to breaks for now. Before we go full on sprint, you know, take a nice little warm up lap first. Because I want people to become familiar with the process and not make too many changes all at once. What kind of box is this, dude? Jeez. And it's gradable. My lord. Between 9 and a 10. Zard bucks, and I got to add to the counter. That's Zard number 61, ladies and gentlemen. It's 
It really is, dude. Like, you're telling me Gold Trainer, Gold Rillaboom, and the Zard? Everything else bonus? No, right. That's what I just said. I I like it. I think it's fun. As long as it's not, like, interfering with, you know, adding too much time to a stream, I'm fine with it. If you're a person that hates Terry Crews, which probably not a lot of people out there because that dude's hilarious, you mu it must have ruined the song. Well, everyone will know that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the progression of things. That'll be the next step if it goes that direction. And, you know, being a person that's always looking to achieve that next step and progress, like that, it's probably going to happen. Is that show still a thing? The lip sync battle? Because low key. Kind of like, number one, not for me in terms of entertainment. Number two, I don't like it. Between nine and a ton. This is like a fantastic box. However, the three Zard box was still better. Which I don't think will ever happen again. Lip sync battle will be coming back. Well, hot darn, dude. If I could not be more indifferent. <laughs> Well, yeah, like this, I just think it's a lazy show. That's all. More of like a YouTube sort of, you know, or like a, a talk show ad sort of thing, like a skit. I don't think for it to be its own show, like definitely not watching that. Chris, for someone who hates it, you know a lot about specific performances. You sure you hate it, dude? I'm just kidding, dude. To be fair, though, I'm out of shows to watch, but I still wouldn't watch that. <laughs> I'd rather just sit bored doing nothing than watch that show. <laughs> and as a person who appreciates background noise, that's saying something. Because you're going to spoil your chances to get invited on that show. I don't care. And I don't think that I'm that much of a celebrity. Please don't even think that for a second. It was more of a joke. Celebrity rap battles. That was a thing? I bet just impeccable, groundbreaking lyrics was just heard. That yeah, that break was 
absolutely disgusting. Dancing with the star? No. I feel like it's just like a known thing that's like where celebrities go to like die. Like if you're on that show, it like you're a has been. Is that a thing? Because like that's like what I've like drawn from it. I don't know. I just like I I haven't been like that type of person to be that into it with that stuff. Like my mom would be like, "Oh, so and so is gonna be on Dancing with the Stars." I'm like, "Really? I don't care." Number nine. Champions Vivid Ablaze. Crazy to think that I got one break left after nine. I got two breaks left for the evening. But don't worry, guys. I'm just a robot. I'll just be sitting here until next stream. Charging. Android. Which made me think about Dragon Ball Z and those androids because they were actually pretty sick. I just hit back. I didn't want to do that. There we go. <laughs> Probably. Marginally. Will do if I run out of stuff to do. All right, champions, vivid ablaze. Yeah, but Dragon Ball Z ain't anime, dude. If I would have said Full Metal Alchemist, Bleach, or Sword Art Online, or anything like that, that's that's answer your question more. Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z ain't anime, if you know what I mean. I've seen hot ones. I'm not like full blown though. In terms of like on the scale of like anime, like I'm like amateur. I'm not like full on just like experiencing the Japanese culture, eating with chopsticks and whatnot. I enjoy certain shows that are dubbed in English. Hold on, I'm grabbing another case of Vivid Voltage. What are you talking about, Zerg Huntsman?
What, what did he pull? Oh, really? Listen, I know exactly how that feels. That man rated me, like, no matter what. Even if I didn't want to be rated, that dude rated me and showed me so much love. At first you were disappointed? What, at getting trainer? Dude, it's amazing how many people, like, have, like, a negative, like, outlook on trainer. The worst card for trainer you can get is a full art. It's on a different scale. At some point, like... If you if you split trainer between two people and it was an extra spot, it would still be worth it. <laughs> At certain points, if the break is big enough. Mind you, if it hits. Not everything is guaranteed. That's the, the beauty of breaks. We never know what we're going to say. A bit of everything. When I hear this song, I automatically think about something about Mary during the credits. Which I haven't seen that movie in a minute. The movie's absolutely hilarious. in this break. I mean, it's up on the screen in the top right. reminding me worst comes to worst I would have opened extra hidden fates but I appreciate it and don't you get mad because if you get mad you don't you want to benefit and in a way scam your boy after all the love and attention that I've showed you shame on you that's not a sorry you don't you shouldn't apologize for that because here, here's for your honesty double zard bucks how about that People would not have gotten 400,000 beige bucks unless you were honest. Well, I know people out there are going to be salty. 
should have told him. I would have got extra cards. I reward honesty. Usually when I make m mistakes, though, people do benefit. They're good mistakes. I make sure of it. Feast today was still fun without Evo. Obviously, we'll miss Evo being regularly in breaks, but it was still good without it. It's called integrity. It is what it is. We still benefited. From, well, yeah, I make sure of it. What the heck? No more thousand dollar box for 150 bucks in the break? This is just stupid. I guarantee you people were upset by it and maybe even mad, but it's like at the same time, you gotta be realistic. Booster box giveaway was I already forgot. Em Emerson something. Zars always be coming out a little bit late, dude. A fashionably late to this party. Who's got fire? Corey. Not the greatest centering, but still between an 8 and a 9. Maybe more on the 8 side. Still gorgeous. Second one of this evening. More Zard Bucks. What's it about, Grizz? Oh, a little Bruce? Star number 62. Pulled in break nine. Matt, think about how many packs of Darkness Ablaze I open versus packs of everything else with a Zard. Then it, it's a little bit more... Is it easier? Yes, but not like you're seeing it every other box. Caesar. Like, have we pulled a lot more Hyper Pikachus? Yes. But... We've been opening it a lot more often. A lot more of it. But we know that 37 hours straight of opening it, basically 5,000 packs later on release, we only pulled three. I always put the shopping cart back into the stall. What does that tell you, Grizz? What does that article say about me? Well, I just like don't want to be that person whose car like has a full on dent in it. And like I don't know, like, I've been in the, you know, 
bad job positions before where it's a lot of work and people could make your life easier but don't and I feel for the dude that's going to go out there and go push carts to go find it in the middle of an intersection shiny star V it's right on par with champion's path it's like floating around like 1 in 150 to 1 in 200 I feel like I've read that, unless it's like a recent article. I'm sure it's like an actual psychologist or some sort of specialist studying the act of doing it. It's like before I yell at a Comcast employee, I I lead with, I know this is your company and not you, but you're going to hear a lot of nice things right now. Uh, after break time. I was like, Unfor I've said it before. I'm like, unfortunately, the company in which I am interacting with is you. And this is who you're affiliated with. You're going to hear a lot of stuff right now that you're probably not going to enjoy. But here we go. <laughs> But they're not Comcast reps, dude. It's somebody in another country that is being paid to manage their calls. It's just common courtesy. I don't know. I guess maybe... I feel like the... The sympathy comes from growing up in a restaurant because I've seen people that just come in just to complain and give people the worst, like, sort of time in their lives ever. Oh, for sure. They've been around for a while. Well, as soon as the, the trick is not to swear. Which, you could be very, very rude not swearing. As soon as you swear, though, it's pretty much a green light for them to hang up. Whoa, common cards. Relax. I'm pretty sure like that's literally like majority of companies that have, you know, customer service calls. Like if there's any sort of like swearing or a, like more than a regular amount of aggression, they just hang up. And mind you, it takes me a lot to get there, but internet places are best. Internet providers are the best at getting me there in terms of getting to the point where I'm going to yell at somebody.
This song's a bop, dude. I forgot this was on the playlist. Dude, remember when this was on the radio? When it first came out? It's all that anybody listened to forever. Well, I'm not even... With this gap of time, I'm more than able to have internet installed with no issue. Like, it's not as risky as, like, me not having internet for a week. So, I'm not even going to, like, call it a complaint. I'm going to call it a cancel. It's going to be the next phone call I have to them. Because I'm sick of dealing with it. I mean, it's the only notable song that I remember. Maps. I'm not really defending the artistry here, but it was like all you heard on the radio for the better part of like over a year. I think there's still breaks on the, the website, Zard Huntsman. Doug Funny? Where's the connection there? What what's what's comparable between those two? I'm struggling to remember what Doug Funny sounds like. I don't think that's the comparison though. The nose. Does she have a big nose? Chris may be onto something. The nasal sound. That was definitely like a show that I tolerated as a kid. I wasn't exactly like excited that Doug was on. I much preferred others. Someone mentioned Kids Next Door the other day. Codenames Kid, Kids Next Door. And I forgot that I missed that show. Five hundred Zards? Let's see how this next release goes. With the Zard in it. Well, like, certain shows like Animation aggravated me. And then that wasn't one of those shows. Like, Codename Kids Next Door, I like the animation. Like, Rocco's Modern Life animation. Hated it as a kid. I still watched it. You're not that old, dude. I watched that. Calling me old, dude? Bless you with some heat. And you got trainer. It's kind of hard not to. One box of darkness of bliss. Coming up and we're going to be done. I'll do the weekly booster box giveaway as well. Guys, last break until next Thursday. I'll be live on the gaming channel here and there, but next time I'm live again is going to be for like 40 hours straight, probably, if all goes well.
Wild thorn berries, dude. Bess is her dad, dude. Smashing. Just like Nigel. Get some good sleep? Come on now. You think anything changes when I'm not streaming? I'm gonna be working the entire time. Probably. I don't remember, but probably. Pinky in the brain. Maths, are you telling me that you had a crush on something that was drawn? I, I'm all for appreciating art, but my God, man. And trust me, I'm aware of things that are out there. I'm just, I'm just memeing you right now. I much preferred crushing on Amanda Bynes and Hilary Duff back in the day. I won't. Angry Beavers was a funny show. Be excited for both. Totally Kyle. Totally. Francis, that's the exact theory that I really, really like that I've found and watched or read. I think I read that one. I didn't watch that one on YouTube. That it's like the perception of how dogs see things and things are a lot scarier through a dog's eyes, like someone coming in the house. Like how a dog is feeling if it's like meeting a person for the first time. It makes sense. And it makes sense too more because like every episode when stuff goes bad, like the dog is just trying to protect like its owners. No, there's not a 10th spot in these breaks. These breaks are nine spots. Covered your whole room in Hillary Duff posters. Well, for sure. It's, you know, looking at both sides of an argument or a perception. First trainer there, too, Jackie. Between 9 and a 10, closer to a 9. Let me look at the Salamance, too. Between 9 and a 10, more on the 10 side. Interesting. Bangarang, dude. Return the slab, dude. Dude, at one point, like, that's all, like, the majority of the episodes being shown on Cards of Network were, like, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Those were good times, man. 
Animes were such a tease, though. Like, I feel like I feel like they were playing like one episode, like one day, and then next time I'm watching, I'm like, it's like random season, random episode. Shows like that, like it's it's hard to go back and enjoy regular TV once you can like choose and like watch an entire season at your leisure. There was theories for Avatar: The Last Airbender. What? Dude, did you watch the more current read? Like, they did an, a, another season of Samurai Jack, not on Cartoon Network. Not family friendly. Really good. Really, really good. If you have not watched it, like, find a way to watch it. I had it, like, on demand, and I could have rented it. I'm sure it's, like, on Amazon or something. Mastering all four elements. I think it was to end it. I think they made one last season. That animation was amazing. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's because, like, they... They kind of had to hold back, like, the blood and the violence. And then the last season, they didn't hold back. I just heard a plow, so that means that it snowed again. Or it's snowing currently. Stop, please, snowing. Stop. I'm done with it. Please. When all of this melts, we're going to have flash floods because nothing has melted yet. One moment in that show that, like, I thoroughly, like, enjoyed was when, like, those two elders were teaching the, the evil sister how to, like, lightning bend. And it, like, reminded me of Palpatine. I like the end where she progressed into like insanity. Cause I think like it like her true colors came out. They did they did a lot of good things in that show. I wish it was longer. It's my only thing. was the uncle right he was probably the best character in the show sorry I'm like don't remember the exact exact names right now Which is sad to say, though, because that, that implies that, like, even in trying to complete the task of, like, winning back his family's favor, like, he was never capable. But 
if he would have succeeded, it would have been bad. So he's not evil. There's symbolism there. Trying to be something you're not. Three different Eric's, I think. Is it four? No, it's three. I think I'm gonna watch rewatch Sword Art Online next. I really, really like that show. I need to watch. See on Netflix, they didn't have. I don't know what season it was, but like, where the new game came out is where I stopped. Like the new game just came out at the end. I couldn't find episodes that weren't dubbed, or that were dubbed. I would say that like there there has been times where like a lot of people from the same area watch me, but Washington definitely like continues to like break that record. You would think I was like from Washington or something. What were you talking about, Steve French? Like if I was abandoned, I were to go on tour, like Washington would probably like be first on the list. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just funny that, like, it's just such a random state that a lot of people watch from, like, me. Good drivers realize that it's not their own car they have to be watching. Just be aware. Legit had a green turn arrow that was up for like 10 seconds. I was like the third car. Random car literally going 80 through the intersection. If I didn't see it, I would have got T-boned. I would have probably like been in the hospital. That was like a week ago. If I didn't see the car and speed up through my turn to turn... This person has a red light, so I'm not even supposed to be looking that way. I could have, like, totaled my car. If I didn't watch, like, if I had, like, maybe, like, changed a song or something, I would have 1,000%, like, had my new car totaled. Out of the corner of my eye, I'm seeing this very, very fast vehicle coming through the intersection, which I'm now realizing they're not going to stop. Had to speed up. But it happens every day, dude. Even if you are the best driver, it's not you that you have to worry about. It's everyone else. I forgot that even happened. I was just re-reminded of that now. People are just dumb. Like, implement an IQ test for drivers. That's that's what you really need. Just bare minimum, like, can make a bowl of cereal without 
like starting a house fire. Because there's people out there that like truly, truly are a danger to themselves, let alone other people. Mini binder goes to Kyle. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. It's like, it, well, people don't understand the concept of like breaking in advance. The amount of times that I've literally almost been hit by someone who doesn't see that it's a yellow light and doesn't see that I'm going to like floor it and, you know, get through the yellow a lot of times the accidents happen because people have poor driving practices even when it's not bad weather people can't like understand like stopping gradually you know 30 seconds ahead Guys, that was the last break. Yellow means go faster. If, you, if you're one of those people that rides my bumper, make no mistake, I will wait through a green until it's red and then turn. You will feel my pain and my wrath. I don't have to get out of the car and you know yell and do all that. I will mentally make sure that you are suffering. Wondering if my like bumper is literally just going to like be an issue is not something that I'm comfortable or happy about. You can get a lot more done with no violence. You could truly mentally mess with somebody. All right, weekly booster box giveaway, and then I'll do the gift card giveaway. Whoa. Christopher, you are the winner. Congrats. All right, gift card giveaway. Let's do that right now. Drivers hate when you shake your head at them. No, nah, dude. I, I've evolved to the point where I do a good old-fashioned golf clap. Just like very visibly. Like sure, you can give you could flip someone the bird. It's it's generic. Old dead meme. Much better golf clap. Psychologically, it's like you're treating them like a child. I'm surprised they haven't allowed people to make custom horns yet. You just upload an MP3, call somebody an idiot. Hey, idiot. It's probably for good reason. Gift card winner is... Puck. Just message me for the gift card you won on the uh, the gaming stream. And I'm sending you another one, my friend. So guys, 
get into the release breaks now if you want to make it in. Okay. Here, I'll message you now, Pua. Before I get off, we're on earlier, so people that I can raid options are going to be a lot higher. I think there was one other person besides you that I owed. There's one. Please, even as for a couple seconds, make sure that you come with me on this raid. It's very important to me because I was shown a lot of love and support, so I want to pay that forward every time that I can. Ooh, something relevant that we were talking about earlier this week. Everyone join me on this raid. We were just talking about magic and she was playing the online magic TCG. I'll see you guys over there. Love you guys very, very much.